All right. And we are live. We are live. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Idle Talk Podcast. Uh, apparently sponsored by Octane Apparel. Ryan Cobb's been on board from the start and we um, yeah, very much thank him for his support and his whole team. We are on episode number 10, finally, double Woo! figures. <laughs> we did it. Party. And there's only three of us here. <laughs> but now we're on double figures yeah. and still you know, going. You know what they say, three is a party. That's it. Oh, um, man, I've got enough stories in me to make it up for, for yeah, this, a missing person. So. Yeah, this would be good. Um, yeah, so this one, we don't have any actually guests on or anything, but we figured we'd do a bit of like a Winged Motorsports sort of debrief on where we all are um, with our cars. Where everyone's what, been. Yeah. Pretty much just a life update. Yeah, what our, plan, on. what our plans are with the cars and then, um, yeah, sort of moving forward where we're aiming to get to. Get to. And then, yeah, we'll touch on America with um, international miles over here. <laughs> Um, the boys back and still alive which i am personally surprised at oh, um, that I'll, makes two of us yeah. <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's a few touch and go moments there yeah when you said you're going with kieran i was like oh someone's probably gonna die yeah. but um not you're here i mean kieran's still over there but he's still alive so oh, that's yeah we'll, we'll, we'll get, we'll get, we'll get to that All yeah right, we'll get there friend made some friends for life over there and uh they'll, hopefully fingers crossed there'll be a bit more content coming out of there yeah so. but um yeah i guess we'll start off with um yeah, a bit of a wing in it in the car sort of update. Um, All right, so put your hand up if your car's running. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know, Damo, put your well, hand yeah, up. Yeah. He's not here, but I'm sure he's got his yeah. hand up. He's, he's, at home, he's at home like, yeah. yeah, it's still running. Yeah, Mr. Reliable, yeah. Like an unopened bottom end. Yeah. So. Well, yeah, mine went rods, and then yours went rods. Yeah. Carvotech went rods. Yeah. I just yeah. yeah, and then yours like, are still going. I, I got a borrowed motor that yeah. was running. I just pulled it out because one of my LS three blocks is ready to go. So <laughs> we'll we'll piece that together shortly. Mm. But yeah, what have, what happened to yours? Brashing nuts, mate. Brashing nuts, yeah. It um it popped. I think I covered it on the last um, episode with the boys on here. But yeah, basically, would I don't know the whole drive down? Ryan and I were talking up like heaps. It was like the car's running mint. All I got to do is drive it. Like, like literally, I know, I, like I, know I can. Him, like, you just drive the car how you drive it. Yeah, the cars, the cars, men. You'll be doing so, sweet. And then, so it's Ryan's fault. Yes, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> well, and myself because I just <laughs> talked up so much on the drive down for like literally eight hours. I was like, I was like, yeah, oh, man, the car's perfect. I just need to drive it now. Like, it's all good. I'm the only thing that was like letting skids down. The car's strong. I literally then, said to him like yeah. after it happened, I'm like, I'm cursed because I went to Bundy, fucking fucked my shit up. Went with him, got fucking one skid out of it, fucked that shit up. And I think, so. To go back, like it was a junker that was put in, like it was a slapper for a reason. It was supposed to be like a part time engine. It was supposed to be in there for three months, ended up being like almost just over three, two almost years, three two years. and a half years. It was yeah. Two and a half years. Yeah. And then once it was in, we never opened it, never pulled it out, never looked at anything. It just went oil change every comp, fuel, and so then it, tires. Like, like we, that was it. We did it. valve like, springs while it was sitting in the motor at, yeah. at Damo's yeah. old, like, old yeah. place. So, yeah. like so, two years ago at least. Yeah. Like, yeah. And like, it, yeah, Damo built originally, like it was built correctly, like a lot saying like it wasn't oh. it was like we just treated it like shit once it was in between the rails like oh, it never yeah. got that oh, was yeah. one of that was one of the best experiences yeah. but rocking yeah. up there's 15 blokes there doing the valve springs in your head one of one of person had a tool in their hand yeah and that's <laughs> it bro it was bones that, mate, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> bones mate, was the only one doing any that, work <laughs> that, blo- that bloke put that tool down someone else picked it up for a couple of minutes yeah. then put it back down like i think i just drank beer and looked at it the whole time but um but yeah so like we didn't take care of it like you probably would a, like you know a good engine or like an engine that you like cared about it, it was, was a slapper to... in every yeah. sense of the word yeah. like yeah pretty much if anyone doesn't understand what the slapper is it's still just stock bottom end ls1 yeah obviously fresh rings and bearings but we've milled the heads i can't remember how much we've got off yours but it's a decent amount um, yeah what is it um turbo killer cam turbo killer cam that i bought off um, marketplace it was like second hand for 200 bucks like yeah, even that KB, was kb port job kb port K- job yeah the kb yeah. special and yeah. fucking some f- fly cuts in the factory pistons like we got a little tool with a scrap head that we literally just mill yeah. material out of the stock heads so, for valve yeah. reliefs and it was just showing what you could do with like it, on a yeah, on a budget on, like it was a budget build it was a very it wasn't a top build. dollar engine it wasn't um yeah it wasn't only supposed to be a couple of like i think it was in there to get through rocky nuts and like that was supposed to be back out again yeah and then i started having fun with it and i was like well we'll just leave it in there until it eventually yeah. goes pop which and then after a while i was like it's never going to go pop it's one of those mongrel motors that's just going to live forever you're like and oh then, carburetor yeah <laughs> oh, oh and carburetor then, and then when we got to brash nuts it is cold down there too but like it was a pig to start the entire just did day. not want to start like when we pushed it off the truck like winched off the truck originally when we got there it took like 
over 10 minutes of like winding oh, to get it to go like consistent but push it off the truck push it back push on. back on the truck yeah, <laughs> yeah. start of the day how we ended it yeah, yeah that's usually um, how you want a meeting to go very right, drive it off drive it back on yeah like you push it off you, you, you push it back on pushing yeah. it back on but um yeah it just took forever to, to wind I mean, we finally put like a heat cycle through it once we got it running and then every time i shut it off it would just be a pig to start again yeah so i don't know if that was like should have seen like you know should have saw that and be like oh maybe this is a telltale thing but i was like ah it's all good it's been faithful forever and then we we started the skid and like pretty much 20 seconds in it, i could see it breathing under the bonnet you could see it coming out through the bonnet and like the front passenger guard like the gap you could just see it breathing and i remember looking at it being like oh yeah i've seen methanol cars breathe like that before like it i don't think it's anything weird Ryan said he saw it and was like, I'm going to tell Craig to stop. And he's like, he's not going to stop. I'll just wait and say anything. So I think we both sort of saw it and was like, eh, it is I, what I it is. I've seen it probably after he's like, he did the big 720 entry and then we come through the smoke again and I'm just sticking my head in the corner. I'm like, mm, do I, do I not? I'm like, we traveled all this way. I don't want to fuck his one skid up. Yeah. Like, and I wouldn't have stopped if he had to hit me and be like, it's breathing, something's wrong. It'd be like, I'll blow it up in front of everyone. You're just, you're just sticking to your original story of it's Ryan's fault. So yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll pay that. And then, yeah. um, yeah, so we and then the the colored tires started to fade. Like I remember, if you watch, if you do see the skid on YouTube, like I come back up the drag ship side, like and turned around, and when you when I turned around, you could see the smoke's gone back to like a normal color, like the pink was out. So, literally had like 10, 15 seconds if probably that. to go, and then started coming back down towards like the pad, like yeah, from the engine sort of shoots side, and it just went bang and dunk 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 dunk, and then just stopped. And I was like ah, oh. and then I, I shut the um isolator off and all i heard is ryan go you just fucked it and i was like that's what i want to hear right now <laughs> like i knew it wasn't good but he's like that's a motor bro and i was like cheers man yeah and then on the video you actually see the car stops and you see a little chunk like bounce like a foot out from underneath like the front yeah, bumper a piece of block just rolling then, out from under the yeah. stop but the motor was like no nah, no nah, i'm gonna i'm still yeah i want to go that way. way where we were heading so um <laughs> so yeah so blew it up there got towed back put it on the truck and then it was just oil and um coolant like all over yeah. the bed of the truck you can see the oil down the whole m1 back to brisbane I heard. yeah, yeah. yeah. we used two <laughs> we used two um servo kitty litters. two servo kitty litters yeah like <laughs> put up a servo just north of newcastle and like open up the wheelie bin that they had like the kitty litter in dumped that all over the tray <laughs> mixed it in brushed it off dumped it on again then we're just driving down the highway with like fresh kitty litter on there um but then we did see yeah like the coolant was separating in the oil from like from the holes in the block and shit so haven't pulled it apart yet got most of it out but um the block's still in the car but yeah we I believe it went from the head gasket and basically just worked its way down um well, like like we touched in on the video it was we, we dropped that oil fucking the day before or whatever yeah it, it was, was like fresh it, it was completely yeah. fresh yeah. and it was it was milked like it yeah. was the oil was fucking disgusting by the end of one skid one so skid yeah it would have had like it's pretty hit. much my theory and I, yeah. I had some bloke say up to me he's like well it had a hole in the block obviously there's going to be fucking water in the oil i'm like no i'm talking about the actual milk like, yeah it should not have been that bad yeah it would have had like year. one heat cycle through it and then driving from the pits to the start line like it, it yeah. probably ran for like you know say 20 minutes with or how bad that oil yeah. looked man it didn't surprise me I, I'm, yeah. I'm guessing it's spun a bearing because we seen the bottom of a rod like in one piece well, it, yeah. and it was just black deformed like you typical it was, and it got hot too eh? like the yeah well, that's um, what happens it when it's burnt spinning. yeah yeah it's what like, happens when you spin a bearing burnt. shit just gets too hot and metal fatigues and flies apart yeah so yeah that was my ration just like your grandma, um, it was just just the time just the time just yeah, time, it's just, yeah uh, had a good life <laughs> yeah. got some um, stories yeah out of god it. rest her soul yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah so that was it um yeah basically brought it back home pushed underneath the house and then my wife and I had our first baby girl, so she's hey. a month. She's a Congratulations month, uh, to the Mestons. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, out the old little baby, baby crazy is currently sleeping upstairs, but yeah. yeah. Um, nah, it's been good. So that's why the car's just been left, like I pushed underneath the house, left alone, had bigger shit, bigger no, yeah, fish priori- to fry, I guess. Priorities, so. got priorities, priorities yeah. <laughs> so, um, I hate, I hate priorities. Yeah. So I started, I pulled the manifold off and then when I pulled the manifold off, I was looking inside the chambers and you can see out of eight of them i think like uh five of them are full of water and then the other three are full of like chunks of metal and shit so there's definitely like carnage in there um <laughs> there's carnage on the track well, right? yeah there's carnage <laughs> definitely had yeah. Sell on it. but yeah we'll pull it apart i'll yeah. take it down to the wing it shed and demo and like yeah we'll pull it like engine out like pull it down properly and have a look but um in the meantime yeah i've started messaging race max um 
messaging George from there, been emailing him about basically, I got a few goals I want to do with the with the new engine that we're building for it. Basically, asked his recommendation of what he thinks we should put in it to achieve the goals that we want. Winging at most sports, we'll, we'll screw it together. There's levels to this um, games, and you're ready to level up. Yeah, ready to chuck some money into like a, an engine again um, after the slap. Yeah, like the slap was, it's an under it's under ten grand like that one so like it's a budget bill i guess you'd say like it's achievable i think for like a and lot it, of people and in it was the, in you the literally scene. you competed and you won yeah a couple yeah. of times so yeah. it's so now you, i want to like yeah level up yeah um it just goes to show you don't need the biggest and best budget in the world to get out there and have yeah fun and, and that's 100 yeah, percent. yeah yeah definitely competitive with a budget build like yeah it's not it's probably yeah it's not like a super budget but it was like under 10 grand which i think for a burnout engine in, in 2024 like a for, sort of class for a car, burnout engine yeah. that's pretty yeah, that's, you're doing pretty well yeah it's, that's st- still it's still a budget now, yeah so three years down the track i think so like, yeah prices haven't changed that much for yeah. a lot of stuff and like yeah and i compete yeah. in the burnout class at like at any event i go to yeah. um and yeah i can hang with them i think like comfortably with, the best of with yeah with like you, a, last, well, sum, the last summer nights you Mate. literally were the highest placed na car yeah in like, your yeah. field you hang out with us yeah you can clearly hang with the best of them can hang with the big boys um so yeah, yeah now still na um i'm not going blowing yet um i think that engine really like oh, hammered mate. down for me like how mate, fun who's, NA. who's the last burnout master na yeah true yeah yeah, yeah. miles yeah. best mate yeah. ls yeah ls yeah, we're not gonna go there ls carby yeah. i can yeah. yeah so that's the job gonna stay NA. gonna stay carby um i do have a few goals i want to i want basically i've said the race max i want a high revving Carby fed methanol NA LS, so 5.3 litre. So I want to rev to eight comfortably. I want it to be able to go to eight and a half, but I want it to be like, so that one that slap us was seven like the entire time. I want to be able to go to eight comfortably, maybe push it to like, yeah, above eight if I want to. But um, so yeah, we're talking, he's looking at all the valve train and everything. Um, probably looking at Brodick's heads, uh, the LC9 block. So it's an alloy block, but it's cast iron um balls um so it's light as a alloy but as strong as like a iron block um gonna go dry sump even though ls's have like a really good oil system anyway i'm thinking dry sump maybe just for the oil delivery if we are revving like that high i don't really want to take a chance on yeah, having like removes, a wet sump removes variables yeah so like if i'm going to do this engine general. like put a bit of money into it i figured may as well just go dry sump now anyway if i do later on do something like go blown or whatever i've already got the system there like a four stage dry sump savvy um kit yeah i think would be great so do that yeah brodix heads do the brian tooley valve train that'll definitely like get it up to that you know i think the one i had in the slap would see nine well you've already got the ultimate so, rpm kit yeah with the trunnion upgrade so, so that's really there's a few different nine. yeah there's yeah. a few things will change out um i can't remember what it was i, I got it in the email themselves. yeah and so then yeah just little, a, little stuff to a good dome play. piston good crank good rods um all that sort of stuff like actually put some money into like because that slapper was all stock it was all gen 3 shit so yeah, um, yeah gen 3 not even gen 4 yeah and it lived at seven stock crank gen 3 that's, that's rods, gen three too. pistons like we're, we're not asking a whole lot more for it just yeah. another thousand rpm and it used to sing on seven all day every day yeah. with gen 3 shit in it so yeah which i probably could have pushed the slapper up there but it probably just wouldn't have lasted long <laughs> Um, with anything with burnouts yeah nothing lasts forever so this one yeah i'm going to put a little bit of money into it um and build like a proper yeah like na carby fed dry sump ls We've converted um, and it then man. oh yeah 100 percent. like oh yeah world. i love it um no. and i've already got the carby and everything no. so i was like well may as well yeah i've got no. the apd 750 no. you, can't, you can't be the Sorry. 80s mate <laughs> fucking grow up no. so different, different though like i um, i want my car to drive you yeah. guys want your cars for particular usage at yeah. certain events. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not. You can't say that. My Damien's car just drives every time, all the time. Yeah, yeah, not not down the road. It fucking would. Not, it, it not fucking not would. Up, not up the, to the top of Mount Cotha, mate. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it fucking would. Yeah, and there, there might be some red and blue lights behind. <laughs> uh, that's that's the only reason. And then in the so meantime, so what are we now? August. Yeah, mid August. So summer nats will be probably the next outing. If if I can make the Fridays November one, I will. Um, basically to test it for summer nats, but summer nats is my next like event where the goal is. So in the meantime, it's everyone's goal. Yeah, Ryan's goal as well. Yep. Like. So in the meantime, mine will be going to Andrews um, Classic Lacquer um, GC. 
So we're going to do engine bay. So basically smooth the engine bay. I've got a low fabrications engine bay smoothing kit. Um, so we'll smooth the engine bay. Um, probably put a boot floor in it as well. I think Mitch is pretty keen to do that. Like strengthen the, the boot up. Um, and yeah, the boys will smooth the engine bay, paint that, pull the dash out, and paint that as well. I strengthen the boot floor, you mean then, just where all the back of the tubs blow through in all of, in all the cars? Yeah, yeah. yeah so, so my whole... F- like yeah, the tubs are a thick steel, but then yeah, the whole yeah. floor is still the original yeah, yeah. like it busts, it busts thin through. shit. Yeah, everyone does. Damo's, you can see the driver Damo's side's like lumping. Way. Yeah, like you open his boot, there's just rubber all around yeah. his fuel system and everything in the yeah. boot. Yeah. So yeah, we want to yeah. basically cut. Well, yeah, we have to cut the base of my roll cage where it bolts to or where it's welded to the um, boot floor. But yeah, basically cut that, cut that whole section out, and then we're going to send a template away. Um, Mitch has got a like a steel guy with the um like an AutoCAD system and shit. So basically cut the whole floor out and then the boot floor and then weld that back in. And then it should be like either four mil steel or whatever. That shit is so fancy. I would so, definitely just get some cardboard. Yeah. <laughs> just leave it in there. there. Cut that, cut Rin- that to size, rinse and bro. Repeat. Sticky tape bits on the yeah. side where I've cut too much. 100 bro. mile hour tape. Send that shit out. You like, double it up then it's like... Foam. Brother, yeah. brother, brother. Like, so, yeah, that's yeah. basically pink. You'll be, yeah. So hopefully by summing that to be brand new engine, um, brand new shaved engine bay. And then actually the engine bay will be color matched the rest of the car because it's the only thing like we haven't done. Because yeah. when it got painted, we didn't pull the motor out or anything. That's real. We're all going to be some of that too. And we all got... Yeah. Yeah, you're coming. Color. You're coming, Damo. Um, bones. We're all getting matching colors. Kieran will be there. Just no um, no car, obviously. I don't I don't know what color my car is going to be. I literally told the boys. Going Orion Silver with was, black front and rear. I was, <laughs> bro, I, was, I was like, you can take the car. Like, is it... You sponsor us, you look after us down to Classic Lacquer. I was like, just take the car, bro. Just do whatever you want. Just as long as it doesn't come back hot pink. Wow, I've, got, I've probably and got all, pink left over. All I heard was Mitch go, pink. <laughs> like, he just turned straight into Mr. Burns. He was like, excellent. I was like, God oh, damn it. So they actually so, picking the color? They, oh. I gave them free reign. True. Absolute free wild. reign. That's good. Yeah. Well, Hopefully... It's just, it gets a bit more excitement because oh, like, he's gonna be real disappointed when he gets yeah, the they, lime green skyline. Yeah, back. they open the roll yeah. it on. He's like, I don't like it. Painted difficulty. Like, well, not happening. Yeah, well, I'm sure they'll go through hammer um, coatings as well because no, once Andrew used their product to paint my car, Andrew was like, hammer is like the, the place to get what you paint from. Yeah, so it was more so just you to, like good quality just shit. Just anyway. it up, like all yeah. the work and the time and the effort I've done to do the LS swap and get it going. Like, yeah, it was just. Yeah, I just wanted that that little bit of like, I don't know. Again. Yeah, yeah. And like that that was just something where I was like... It's a big thing too to give someone like, I don't want to see it until it's painted and they have oh. no idea what the color is like. Like with mine, it was like, it's always going to be pink. It's just a variant of pink. After I gave but them a couple is... more weeks of body work after... Wow! Put, yeah. Putting it in, putting it into the wall, and then in, through insert, a couple of barriers. Insert clip now, Mister Editor of um, Miles <laughs> putting his car into the fucking wall. Bang! No, nah, yeah. no, nah, no. Nah, there's no bang. Drifting. I, there's no bang. I slid backwards into the wall. I yeah. banged into the barrier twenty seconds later. At least when I drifted, I just got I just got kicked off by him from having too much smoke. You kicked. I had to your, do kicked, it to fucking Jay, man. Jay you, came out and he did like. The, you know like the entry shoot yeah. for the drifting he just punched it and like fucking click top gear and just smoked it out oh straight over the radio oh can you tell him to not do that again <laughs> it's too much smoke like, jesus <laughs> drift boys i tell you yeah. what's what's wrong I with smoke? this what's was wrong america with smoke? yeah what's no. wrong what's wrong with smoke and drifting come on guys um yeah. but yeah no a bit going on but yeah so yeah you're you getting ready for some nuts you touch the wall and then yeah so, so we'll, get, we'll definitely get to yours shortly but yeah, but yeah so basically that'll be me just yeah fresh engine bay fresh engine boot floor yeah. dash and then yeah once that's done the car's pretty much well, every, perfect it's just the interior sack is fresh engine so yeah it'd just yeah. be the just be the interior after that but that's you know i was yeah. always doing a fresh engine interior. but um yeah bundy happened so yeah then yours yeah you're were you supposed to be building an engine before bundy but then you decided no i'm just going to go to bundy and i was get i anyway. was building another engine before summer nuts so okay. like the ecotech was always coming out and the l67 bottom end was going in yeah, and then I'm just like the da- so it actually goes back to Carbotech because Damien took Carbotech out for a skid and spun a bearing. That was the car I was supposed to take to Bundy in like five That's, days time. Yeah, after that was that. right. Yep. So I said, "Fuck it." The VS is sitting there. It's turned here. It's ready. She's to go. solid as a rock. <laughs> and I literally went into that weekend going like. I could destroy this engine and nothing matters. It's coming out anyway. Mm. Like so, and that's exactly what fucking happened. Thanks to Mika. Yeah, backseat passenger. Pretty much, yeah, yeah. The jinx of all jinxes. 
it just chucked a rod fucking so yeah. she passed it on to you then you gave it you jumped in my car and then so it kind yeah. of is her no nah, so she fault. jumped in my car that's, at that's fridays and i killed a gearbox like instant fuck instantly yeah and then uh, first first gearbox you've killed nah it was actually number 10 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was the third one for the fucking yeah. weekend yeah. was that the gearbox change at the event too? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's yeah. got a decent he's argument fine. for blaming you bro like if you've got you've got previous instances if you've got nine previous yeah, instances nine gearboxes of, of your fucking, if you're and a few motors if you're stupid powerful v6 doing that yeah. to poor little 4L slippies nah nah like, nah, 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 nah. Yeah. nah 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 I did I like yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll bring him to fashion ads like show him like how good like you know the best one day comp no, in the, no. in the country is i'm with him bros before hoes and then like, he fucking yeah. breaks it sorry to make a pick your game up <laughs> don't, be, don't be doing that shit you're not getting in the skyline so She's yeah not getting in the VS. so you so you rotted yours in bundy <laughs> yeah took vs up to bundy for some the, stadium burnouts and yeah. um yeah got into my second which we will all be at at some point i'm definitely taking both my tires sure. were like oh, actually no i blew one tire the second one was like on complete wire and fucking threw a rod yeah. out the block. I don't even know what's wrong with it, but yeah, it's it's fucked. That's all I know. That's all I care. Yeah. Got the and then got you got the glide. Yeah. I was oh say, yeah. So the power yeah, glide built. Bit, bit, bit of fucking an update. Require so. a few more things for it. From yeah. Mark. So I've built bought myself Mark. a power glide finally. So finally. no more four L slippies. <laughs> so fucking. it stops at ten gearboxes. <laughs> yeah. Ten's the number. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Fool me once. Shame on you. <laughs> Fool, Fool me eleven times. times. Yeah. Shame, Shame on me. me. Yeah. Ridiculous. <laughs> So no, I um, tracked down just to fucking track down a power glide. Um, uh, sent it down to Mark Stevens from Hooked on Trailers down in um, Yatler, I believe it is. Maybe not there. Who was the guy who built my power glide as yeah, well? Yeah, Mark Stevens. Yeah. Shout out, yeah, good lad. Who builds? Yeah, Hooked on Trailers. Knows yeah, builds, shit. Builds great trailers. And does carby conversions mm, yeah. as well. But um, yeah, yeah, carby's gearboxes. Yeah, no, nah, he's a good, good lad. Fucking yeah. shout out. Love you have you on. The and always helps out. Day. Always helps out. Um, being at motorsports and like yeah. all of us as well. Yeah. So I took him down my little six cylinder did, power glide, and did he, he just... convert um, Hayden's. Car yeah, he did. To he did Hayden's well. little yeah, yeah, ninety eight right. ruler yeah, yeah. and converted it to E eighty five for him. So yeah, he's a pretty smart guy. Knows his yeah. shit. But Definitely I'm, up yeah. with his eighties technology. Anyway, back to the power glide. <laughs> so you haven't <laughs> used... back to the eighties technology. <laughs> you haven't used the glide yet, hey? Hasn't no, I haven't done it. So the gearbox is sitting there built. I'm mm -hmm. pretty much just waiting on funds so I can order up. A fucking converter for it because obviously they don't make off the shelf converters for a power glide to an ecotech so i just got to get one made and then a tail shaft which is probably like another thousand bucks so and that's mm -hmm. where like dane dane's done that with ethel yeah as well yeah from, um what's his joint called corn fed boost corn fed boost yeah. yeah so he's got he's done it previously so yeah and, he's, he's been and good to chat to about it he's currently a they they both their workshops are across from each other so at the uh, moment uh, yeah, it's, yeah they're like fucking this so yeah, yeah. extra convenient for you yeah and, yeah you've already got the so the power glide bell housing adapter power glide's built i've got the um the pro flow fucking adapter so i can bolt the 4l60 bell housing onto the power glide we should definitely draw that onto some cardboard so we can cut some out later if we need to <laughs> <laughs> i'm just going to keep the plate forever and then take it down to justin and just say cut me six of these please yeah <laughs> damn straight uh thanks pro flow for thanks pro flow for the uh <laughs> <laughs> for the template <laughs> but ah uh, so i got the power glide sitting there ready to go the um the engine, as I said earlier, it's just got an L67 short block this time. Just they are significantly better than an Ecotech, and I've had pretty good luck with an Ecotech so far. So it's not even about pushing more power. I just want to be able to jump in it and do it all day, every day. That's why I'm putting a power glide in it's it. Reliability. That's it. Yeah. Like fuel it, and tires is the dream. Isn't it, it? And staying turbo. Yeah, staying yeah. turboed for the time being. I, I don't think it's a secret that I want to go fucking 471 with a meth carb, but that's probably not going to happen for another year or two. But yeah turbo for now it works good and it's actually like just kind of proving the point because there's a lot of people out there that don't think turbos belong on a pad and that's just wrong it means you just don't know how to set it up correctly it's just i i that. have I, like in all honesty i've thought that for probably like the entire time there's being in the plenty of scene, big boys out there yeah we I mean, don't see too many of them no but there's a guy um i just forgot Successfully. his name but the twin turbo um ute from wa um it's good like he's like it's, too mental yeah, Maybe the two not. mental, yeah, the, the twin turbo VS or yeah. something, yeah, like he's got that thing on song now, like it's fucking yeah. But that's like that was like one of the only sort of skid cars you've seen mm. like turboed for like a long time. And yeah, for years I was always like, nah, they don't because like they don't work, and because you've never really seen it work. Yeah, but yeah, and I understand like yeah, trying to prove the point, like show that they do belong there. But yeah, I guess in my head I was always like, 
they don't buy them because you've just never seen it work. Yeah. But now there's a lot more people trying to make or making it work. So yeah. He well, was the thing it comes down to as well. You was, as well, yeah. Well, people are just like, oh, you know, too much heat, too much this, too much that. Like, yeah. I my car is literally like as stock as it gets, other than being on E85 and has a turbo on it. Doesn't get hot. Smashes tires in like a minute ten consistently. So the whole cars don't need a turbo or turbos don't belong in a burnout pad argument is just completely yeah. stupid to me yeah because i've been doing it for seven years and i've literally had great success yeah. with it i always thought it was like the lack of movement around a pad like yeah that you couldn't get you know what i mean yeah like, well and sense? i've had like, that too well like and it, like i just said it comes down to setup like yeah you hear like how much I, i'm just on off the throttle pedaling yeah. it constantly and i've i get people come up to me all the time like how do you not lose boost like how that, do you, yeah how do you keep it on song and you're just constantly fucking yeah it just comes down to set up correct size yeah, turbo, the turbo yeah good tune yeah. like bigger bigger isn't always better like yeah yeah i've got a fucking two and a half inch exhaust on it and a lot of people are like oh put bigger on it do this yeah. do that and it's like it yeah it, there's yeah. levels to this yeah like Miles now that i've seen earlier. yours i've seen the guy from wr like that turn turbo beast like there's a couple of them now starting to pop up and you're like oh yeah they're definitely making like standing their own ground yeah and yeah there's nothing wrong sure. with them like and i'm i'm an na guy that's why i'm building carbo tech i like <laughs> the best of both worlds like oh, one like, na car it... one boosted boy <laughs> no but like i and i've done it for a few years now so i've got the taste of boost i know what it's like and i i love it it's fucking awesome mm. but for me like na is where it's at if you can if you can build an engine na you get that bitch singing and consistently like it, it just yeah anybody can throw it and i'm not even having to dig it myself but anyone can throw a turbo on an engine tune it and throw e85 at it and just keep turning the wick up mm. it's not as impressive as building a fucking 300 horsepower v6 or something yeah that's just me so that's, yeah that's, oh uh, you mean a stock standard barrel <laughs> 300 horsepower all day baby kilowatts mate kilowatts. 300 kilowatt na barra kilowasps oh the amount of people that tell me to put a barra in my vs uh, uh. you're like yeah. not having them yeah shout out to you pat <laughs> <laughs> yeah Sac- fish sacrilege Walshie. fishy is it fishy, fishy, yeah, yeah, fishy mate, sacrilege, that is actually mate. a very clean car too oh, it was a fucking 60,000 k's all beautiful, original beautiful. and he's oh. like yoink barra <laughs> yeah that is a very clean car too. Like I do like it. It's nice. It's yeah. That was a and rock, he's a cool dude too. For a rear quarter when you hit at Rocky. Yeah, at Rocky. And he's just uh, yeah. He's, fuck he sent a video. Motherfucker. He sent a video. He's like, yeah, I got one, bro, but it's just attached to a clean car with a good motor, and we're just like, what a way. <laughs> Proper. I love you, Walshie. That's, <laughs> That's great funny banter. as fuck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, same color too. No, it's actually not. His nah, is, his is like that blue, that gr- light nah, blue color. Oh, the green. His is like a fo- frost or heather green or something. Mine's Orion silver, completely f- different color. Who the fuck oh, is right. heather? I think it's called. <laughs> I think it's like heather frost green or some shit. Heather yeah. frost. There you go. Uh, I could be wrong. I, could... I always thought it was like a like the. I hey, it was Siri, like a blue tinge. Heather frost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you, yeah. If you got your phone and you didn't have a Siri, yeah. Uh, uh, I could Everyone driving around shit. listening to this is like, well, fuck. Siri's like, so the color is. No. Yeah, nah. V- VS is doing VS things. Yeah. So okay. yeah, new gearbox, new engine, still turbo. Still turbo. Yeah. Making summonats. Yeah. Yeah. Is yeah, that that's... your next? Yeah, event, that was or... it. So uh, it wasn't like... even supposed to go to Bundy. It was just a last minute thing. Um, but yeah, summonats, hundred percent. I'll be there. Yeah, but no events like no. Nah, nothing, nothing in between. Yeah. Then it's okay. getting a birthday. It's getting a getting a proper. Yeah. yeah. Summonats virgin for it as well. Yeah, mm. probably the first and last time taking it there. Like it's a big commitment, especially for someone on apprentice wages. So. Mm-hmm. I'm probably only going to do it, yeah, like, f- in my mindset now for at least the next couple of years, it's probably going to be the only time I do it. There's a lot of other shit I want to get to. Tropical Meltdown next year is, like, number mm. one of my priorities. 100%. List. I'm definitely doing, so I'm, definitely doing Kev's event, I'm just, for sure. Like, yeah. I, I've, I've been to plenty of QR events. I've been to Mackay a couple of times. Not to say I'm not going to do it again, but I want to get to the shit I haven't done before. Yeah, which is what the sport's, like, all about. Like, I haven't like, I haven't competed outside Queensland. Yeah. So, yeah. Brashanats, that's a big thing for me, but... It, yeah. Tropical meltdown. I'd especially getting up there for Kev. I just want to do it at least. Yeah. At least the once. It looks like an awesome event. Yeah. It's a yeah. And now they're taking it back to the Cairns Speedway. Like that's where it started. Yeah. For me, like especially being from Cairns, I'm like it always belonged in at the Cairns Speedway. Like yeah, the pads like you know, half the size or whatever, but it's a good pad and I, it's like tricky, but it's like the whole speedway setup. It's the crowd, like the whole pad, the meet and greet the night before. Like it's everything about it. Like, the whole pad size thing. That's like kind of, I guess it's, I don't know what the word is. Horses for courses. Like, yeah, it's yeah. horses for courses. But yeah. like you look at the old QR pad, that was, yeah, cool in one aspect, but it's boring as fuck. Like, but it's, it's too big. It's too like, big. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mate, that was nothing. Some of the, like, 
Yeah, I don't know like, what you're going to do. Oh, yeah. So, like, Over in America, bro, they were just like, here's... Here's a football just like field. A car park. Yeah. Just like, here's a whole yeah, car here's, park. Put like, some barriers around the light poles and stand in between it. Mm. Yeah. No. Nah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, tropical, <laughs> tropical meltdown for sure. That was sketchy. Hinchy was going to climb up. Oh, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Anyway. The, the yeah. point I was getting yeah. at with pad, pad size, size is that like Mackay, it's probably yeah. one of the smaller pads on the calendar and it's my favorite. And it's tricky. It's not yeah. even because it's my home pad. It's just a, yeah. such a nice layout. Yeah. It is yeah. just a good pad. And it's tight and it's concrete wall the all hill, the way around. Like and the layout, like, yeah. just everything. Like, like, and it's, that, that, it's spectator friendly. That like, media pass to be up on top, yeah. up on top of the, uh, the, the container there. Bro. Oh, yeah, the container, like, yeah. That was gangster. You know that shirtless dude being like, I can sign these. Yeah, that absolute fucking unit. Absolutely unit. Yeah, but yeah, was... Tropical Meltdown is definitely an event. I think we all try and do next year. Yeah. If I if I can have like a few car trailer by then behind the tilt trail, we'll tow a few of them up for sure. Fuck yeah. The meet, I know this year, the meet and greet, I was spoken to um, a couple of boys afterwards and they reckon, yeah, the meet and greet the night before got out of control. They, a few of them were banned from going out to a drinking establishment in Cairns before Tropical Meltdown started. So that's how crazy the, the meet and greet got. So yeah. So it's definitely like a big party the night before. Um I've skidded at Tropical Meltdown once before when it was when it was in Cairns. And yeah, I remember driving towards the like so you go like through the cane fields um to get like to the burnout pad and my passenger that I brought up from Mackay, we pulled over, he jumped out of the car and was vomiting in the cane fields before we even got to the event after the meet and greet. So yeah. It's definitely like it's a good. Hectic. It's a good. It's, it's a good time. Full on. You course, travel all that way from natural courses. From natural, yeah. It was just sick. It was sick. <laughs> it was the altitude because we went up Australia. You know, yeah, like yeah, yeah it yeah, got yeah. him. Uh, <laughs> no, but it's definitely like it's a sick event. I definitely want to do that. I want to try and get to Gazanat as well, but um, yeah, it's a long trip. Like that's a big haul. And if you do Gazanat, you got to do basically Red Center on the way home. But yeah, we'll see. <laughs> you just twist your you arm. You have to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just easier. Like you're already up there. You might as well go to the middle then come back out. But yeah. Yeah. So that's it for you no, for definitely. Eco Boost. Yeah, new motor, Pinky, new box. Fucking what's on Pinky, the agenda for yeah. old uh, thirty three? The old line. super wannabe, uh, super yeah. looking thing. Uh, so super is still <laughs> locked in the shed. Um, we'll get to that. Oh, oh the, the other one. one. <laughs> yeah, oh, the the actual super. What people don't understand is he actually has a super. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just no one's ever seen it. Yeah, old Mark it's, three. It's real. It's real. It's the, dogs, the dogs piss on it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so no, no, Skyline's good. Skyline's good. <laughs> no, no. Uh, yeah, so, motor out yeah uh last event what was it fridays yeah the one where so, you hit the wall yeah Same so, event, yeah. and then went off the track a couple well, of times no i started off so we're out <laughs> i got a bit got a bit rowdy at the start got a bit of footage from the bloke behind me so when, I come around, when your confidence starts to do this i come round. i lost it a little bit hooked straight left over the track and then old mate sent me a photo of of his car and he's got smoke coming from the front wheels as he locked up behind me before oh true <laughs> almost running up my ass so that was first lap on the track so i was like oh yeah we'll take it a bit easier oh but shit had Damo and andrew behind me a couple of laps later so hit it around turn six onto the main straight was having an absolute great time until i wasn't <laughs> uh, ended up on the right hand side of the main straight in the grass further away from the wall so i was pretty happy which is with, where you want to be going yeah. that way did, yeah. did a couple of loops in the grass uh, drove myself off the track. Uh, went and got a. Went so you got gave yourself like a cool went and down. Got another driver's briefing and. Uh, <laughs> no, they, or did they, they actually? No, they didn't pull me off the track. Old mate. So because we work the few of the Friday events and stuff, yeah. like a lot of the staff and the boys know us. So I drove myself off and I was chatting to old mate that was at the exit sign that would have black flagged me and waved me off. So he was like, "I knew you'd take yourself off," and I'm like, "Yeah, me too." So <laughs> put, Pulled off, went and got, sat another driver's brief and got another band and was like, right, I'll just take it easy. We're not going back out on track. I was like, I'll go out in the drift park. So I went out with Brees, had a couple of like, okay laps, linked a bit, like just getting used to having real power under my foot instead of an RB. And um, yeah, was like, right, that was pretty good. So I was like, I'm going to, I'm going to hit this first corner, like with a bit of pace and like try and try and get into it. Mm. And I got into it. And by into it, I mean the the metal <laughs> barrier, the and barrier. The, <laughs> at the side of the thing. So, no, I come around. It was, my own, it was my own fault. I hit the lock and then the arse end just kept going around. And then I stupidly just panicked being in that position for the first time with the, the LS in it and just clutch in and break in and then just ended up just rolling backwards into it. So it wasn't that bad of damage. And I look over, Ryan's just come to the pad. So Ryan's like, got his phone out. He's like, what are you doing, bro? He's like, calm down calm down and i was just i was off it so, 
straight into it, little left, little right, straight into two barriers and smashed up the front end. So uh, that's, when mate, a, that's when a day becomes a bad day. Old mate like, come running oh. over and stuff, and I was like, I'm taking myself off, bro. You don't need to. We don't need. We don't need to have. <laughs> don't embarrass me. <laughs> so, rolled back into the pits. Andrew was there and. I was like, I'm sorry, mate. And he's like, I'm not talking to you. I'll talk to you in half an hour. Because so, you'd already lined up for him to paint it before you yeah. bend it. Yeah. So, yeah. So, he was like, yeah, sweet. She's straight. Yeah. I just got to sand yeah. it and paint it. It's all good. And you're like, you got to sand it, fix up this and fix up that yeah. and then paint, yeah. <laughs> and then so paint it's, it. It's not that bad. It's just cosmetic. Yeah. And actually, I just, yeah, I saw the video and I was like, oh, fuck. I did a headlight, which yeah. is probably the most annoying bit just because... They get expensive. Yeah. So, <laughs> luckily, I went home and checked my spare set of headlights and my passenger one's cracked, my driver's one's good. So I've still got a set of headlights. Admittedly, one's like clear, one's yellow. So I'll Need have to polish those up. Yeah. Toothpaste and toothbrush oh, kit. I've got a Rain-X kit, headlight restoration kit. Because so I'm sure our editor, our editor will put the video in, but you come around that first no, there's corner. There's no need for that, editor. And you're, <laughs> there's no need for yes, that. Yes, there is. But you're... Yeah. I, <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, but I watched the video, and like that first corner, I remember when it started, because I wasn't there... I'd already left, I think, because I had night shift. Yeah. So I remember watching the video. If you come around that first corner, I was like, oh, fuck, he's on one for sure. Bro, it's, it Two seconds so later, I'm like, bang, oh, he's It was off. so but, good. Yeah. And then, and then it, yeah. it wasn't so good. Yeah. So, Which yeah. you will see the clip because our editor yeah. will chuck, we'll we'll chuck it in, in for insert sure. Insert the clip again. You've just seen it four <laughs> times, guys. It's no. probably number five now, actually. And then yeah. Miles going, oh. Just one more for good luck. He's, yeah, he's yeah. just got Every time we keep bringing it up, I'm just going to put you hitting it. It's going to be bang, 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 bang. Just boomerang for the last like, <laughs> yeah. bit. Just whoop, 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 of just whoop. the arse end going boom, 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 yeah, boom. So. But when I saw it at the shed, like it wasn't too bad. Like, no, no, no. I expected like, it to be I, worse. I did pretty good yeah. to save it, but I just, I reckon yeah. if I had to just like gotten out of it and then just stomped it again, I wouldn't have rolled, rolled back, back into it. So that was my own, my yeah. own fault and just getting used to. The but then I thought the front bumper happened from out on the track, but it happened. Oh, oh, mate, that bumper oh. was clean as well. I'm sure you've all seen me front bumper in videos. <laughs> like, that thing's clean, bro. I can't, can't, believe something happened. I can't believe something happened to me front bumper. So, yeah. Insert clip yeah. of three years ago taking yeah. it four-wheel driving at oh, QR. Mate. Yeah. That, car's, that car's seen some shit. Seen some shit, bro. Been stolen, fucking yeah. Yeah. rebuilt, crashed. Now it's getting yeah, it's been been through, the, been through, been the, through wars. the fucking wars. Yeah. Been, been through wars, been through peaceful times, been through the wars a couple more times. Like, yeah, she's fucking she's hell. definitely had a good time, but yeah, yeah, she's in the Great Depression. No, it was just uh, <laughs> yeah, it was just a borrowed motor anyway. So took it home. Thanks, Nemo. Yeah, back to the shed and um, yeah, pulled the motor, gearbox, uh, and mm-hmm. tail shaft out, and just got it out. So there's a couple of wiring issues that we had when we got it tuned and everything. So I'll go through those, get it all cleaned up, and then. Yeah, I'll just chuck together a stock bottom end LS3, just fresh bearings, rings, and everything. And so that's the yeah. plan for like the new engine. Or, yeah, like yeah, to go yeah, back so in. So I just I just need head gaskets. So stock then, LS3. Yeah, yeah. I just need cam. head gaskets and then a tune. So I'll just pull everything that's in the six. All my good stuff's in the six liter cam valve. Like ah oh, right, okay. Like ev- everything that's on. So pull everything six, out of that one. Put it in. That's on yeah. that six liter that isn't the crank and rods and pistons. Yep, is mine. Yeah, okay. so. So put all that shit in the... Yeah, yeah, I'll take all that off and then just put it back on to the 6.2. Yeah, okay. So, and I'll put that in the car and go get it tuned and then... Yep. Yeah, we'll just... Once again, same as same as you, it's going down to Classic Lacquer. Those boys yep. do... They go way above and beyond anything oh, yeah. that we could, like, yeah. we could possibly... Shout out Mitch and Andrew. Oh, yeah. man. Like, and yeah. The whole crew, mate. Amanda, yeah. the kids, like... Neil, like, yeah. Yeah. All of them, man. Oh, mate. It's just... I said to them, yeah, I was Wayno. like... Yeah, yeah. Oh, mate. You, you cannot these. forget Wayno. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I said to them, I was like, yeah, just, you know, we'll paint it. And then it end up to... Now it's an engine bay. And then it's a boot floor. And it's like... Yeah. I'm like, fuck, man. Like... So, Calm down, you rebuild the whole fucking car in a minute. <laughs> but yeah, that'll be Man, the same he, thing. The effort them guys put into my yeah. car just speaks volumes. Like, And they won't yeah. let it leave the shop with like any imperfection in no. it at all. Yeah. I remember when Mitch, I don't know if I've spoken oh, about it before. For, yeah. Except for Andrew's roof. <laughs> Whatever then Andrew's roof. You know, you know what we're talking about, Andrew. We're going into details. Don't worry. Yeah, Roger. Don't worry, he knows. I remember with mine, like <laughs> yeah. um, Mitch was like wet sanding, I think one of the panels and it looked smooth as fuck. And he's like, oh, there's a little like pin hole like right here and i couldn't even see it and i was like man i have no idea what you're talking about and he's like it's right there and i'm like yeah you're pointing at something but i can't see whatever you're pointing at yeah. i'm like just paint the car how it is and he's like no nah, i gotta get rid of this thing and i looked at his brother and he's like just let him go man like he'll he'll get it sorted and i was like i can't even see what he 
thinks is there. And yeah, yeah he's like, there's a pin drop. They've like, just got but, that eye for detail. But, yeah. Like, I don't know if you remember when you got some photos and shit at Summonats next to other people's cars and shit. He was just talking to people that painted them and they're like, yeah, man, this has been, you know, cut, polished, this, that, this, that. Yeah. Andrew's just like, this is off the gun. Off the bro. gun. Yeah. Literally. Which it still is. It. it hasn't been. Hasn't been cut. Hasn't been nah. touched. It's literally off the fucking gun. Yeah. Which, yeah, like, it has to be, but oh, it doesn't have to be, sorry, but like it will be. But, but yeah, just so it is much, just fresh it off just the gun. It just pretty much goes to show, like, if you think the cars look good, there is that, there's literally another level for improvement yeah. because they haven't yeah. even been cut and polished. And yeah, yeah the reason engine bay and shit wasn't done the first time is because, yeah, I think we got what? it back like a couple of days before we left. And then it was like, fucking, we might, need to... might have a bit more information on that on some upcoming episodes mm. as well. Mm. On uh, stepping up the next level of presentation of a few of the cars. So mm. Stay tuned for that. There's mm. a lot coming up. <clears throat> Yeah. Definitely, a lot, a lot going on behind the scenes. Yeah. Definitely no, some, those... um, yeah, some guests coming up that can talk about presentation yeah. and high quality. No, those those boys trade down cars there, for sure. But they, yeah, they get onto classic black so. But I'll be I'll be the same thing after after going worldwide out to America. Like yeah, do you want to do you want to nudge in America now while yeah, you're we'll talking about there, your, so, yeah? yeah, once yeah, you're done talking about the super meet, meeting Jacko like oh yeah, Jacko's locks. He is he is next he is, level. He is jumping on. Yeah. Right there. Oh, I need to be sitting next to that man when he's on here. Already, Jacko, lined, let us yeah. know when you're back, is, mate. I lined Kieran up. I lined Kieran up already. I'll Kieran say. and Jacko yeah. on the same time would be fucking fantastic. Well, I want to do it. I think I want. Yeah, maybe together no. or separate because they're, nah. they're both. going to have. Well, they're both going to have huge stories. Yeah. Like they're both so, going to have huge right, stories. Well, then so. yeah, we'll separate. But yeah, I messaged just, Kieran a few weeks ago and was like, "Wait, Jacko," and he's like, "Already lined him up." Jacko's keen. I was like, "Fucking sick." Yeah, but yeah, just meeting him like he's just. Yeah. I. I'm all right. I, I like to drive. I do some silly things. I, I'm still learning. I'm not no professional driver, but meeting that kid, I might as well be in like one of them little toy cars that kids are <laughs> flintstoning around, mate, with the wheel front wheels on casters. Like, yeah. it's just he, ridiculous. Yeah, so he can my, drive, man. I'm, I'm on the same plan as you guys. Like, the Skyline yeah. is getting built, painted, and freshened up for summer nuts. Yeah. Any, yeah. any event before then, Falcon. I'm going to be taking the AU, the AU Falcon with a barra in it, just to go out there and like get some actual seat time where mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not worried where I can push the boundaries and get, get a bit more figured out because yeah, like watching that kid drive, like to me, Damo, Damo's like the epitome of a like, wheel man, of wheel man to mm. me. Like as some, someone that I know personally and yeah. like been with and seen experienced yeah. and drive 100%. and everything. Mate, Damo yeah. looks like he's driving around in one of those little yeah. toy cars as well. Next to me, next to Jacko, like yeah, this right. kid is just, Next level, mate. Next level, like, True. and just he still pushes the boundaries, but just just talking to him is like going through all his knowledge of everything. It's just yeah, like tire pressures, tire sizes. Like, oh, so he's like right into like the like, like specifics of like everything, changes in suspension and stuff. Like if he wasn't doing burnouts, yeah, he'd be the quintessential fucking professional drifter. Yeah, okay. like just yeah, like he's that he's that onto it. I remember you know? I read a. So yeah, like there's what while we're mean? filming I this. What burnouts is just put your foot down and fucking steer in a circle. Yeah, well, that's what. Yeah, no, like it's well for a lot of people. A lot of people uh, overcompensate like a lot of steering issues and that that they have by just yeah. adding power. That's that's yeah, how yeah. they get around it. And it's just if you can, yeah, if you can set it up to yeah. drive. Like there was a comment on Cuddles, one of the Cuddles um, YouTube channel videos or Jackos or Hinges. Someone put it like the video up of like the skid in, in america and there was a comment it was like that red ute um just throws it in praise and i was like fucking horseshit no. like it's, it's so far from the tr like i haven't met the guy That's but i'm just like what most people that watch burnout yeah touch, in dubai like, they just i'm like you can't put drive your foot down and throw it yeah i can, touch, touch I can assure that. you we yeah. throw you the keys to something like that and jacko would run rings around yeah you but all i'm like day. Touch there's no that, way bro. that dude is touching on that like like the first event that I did. So I went to America for 22 days. So Kieran, Kieran's my housemate. He's my boy. Like we, like we love her. We bro, yeah. sometimes like casually. <laughs> oh like, shit. Sorry. Is this live? Wait, nothing. Yeah, my bad. No, wait, that wasn't supposed nothing, to be recorded. Nothing, <laughs> yeah, nothing <laughs> serious. Like there's no, yeah. there's no rings. Like, like a fling. Yeah. But so, you live, where you live with each other. Fling, yeah. but we flung. Yeah. Eskimo <laughs> brothers. So, wow. Oh yeah, shit. The first event we did was Cletus's event. And, so Shit I flew, out to Cle I yeah, Cletus, if you want to sit on it, brother, anytime you want. Yeah, re reach out, <laughs> Garrett. If you ever fucking <laughs> yeah. any of us. If you ever back over here. I flew Brisbane to Sydney, Sydney yeah. to Hawaii, and I seen Hinchy saw me getting on the plane. So he, kn he, he knew who you were. 
Huh? Hinchy knew who you were. No, I was wearing Cuddles. He told ah. me later. He's like, you're wearing Cuddles merch. And then he's like, oh no, I do know you from the video. Oh. If I wasn't wearing You're like, cuddles, oh shit, I'm someone. If I wasn't wearing the Cuddles merch, would've I would've known you. no one. And then <laughs> the same flight again from Hawaii to JFK in New York. And he was literally, if I'm sitting here on the aisle, he was sitting here on the other side of the aisle, like right next to me on the second flight. Just Couldn't have like magically. randomly not planned it. Yeah. So we like, were talking... Oh, what events are you going to? How's things going and stuff? And he was going to the same same two events that I was planning to go to with Kieran. And I was like, well, I don't know what's going on with Kieran. He's just, he's having issues with his car. I don't know what the go is, but he's supposed to pick me up from New York and then we go to Connecticut. And Hinchy, he's just, yeah, Hinchy's the man. Like, we got there eventually, like, bit of an introvert, but he was like, if we go on the same events, man, so if things don't work out, he's like, I got the RV, I'm by myself, bro, if you just want. You can just meet me up like where the RVs are and then we can just road trip until Kieran catches up to us. And From was, like after you land in the airport, like were you doing your own thing first? Yeah, so I had one then, day in New York. Yeah, okay. Skip. Um, but then so, he bounced He bounced to his yeah, RV. So, yeah. so his RV was about an hour and a half yeah, okay. out of New York City. Yeah. So... Yeah, I was just talking to him and then Kieran's like, yeah, I'm not going to be there in time. How far so, away was Kieran from where you were? Uh, Illinois, so 18 hours, I think. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, so, right. So yeah, he wasn't going to make it like anytime soon. Yeah, yeah. no. So yeah. he got there on the Friday night. So yeah, okay. The night, so you, the night before. So you did your New York thing, skip all that shit, then yeah, met so up with Hinchy. Yeah, met yeah. up with Hinchy and then um, Craig Bailey and Louise's yep. wife uh, with Imposter. And then yep. we sort of road tripped up together to um, Connecticut to... Wow, what was the what was the stadium called in Connecticut? I got no idea. You're telling the story. Uh, Stafford Motor Speedway in Connecticut. So, oh, yeah. which yeah, is we a Cletus up, event. Hey, yeah, Cletus. Yeah, Cletus so yeah. Cletus event Cletus, up yeah. in um, Connecticut. So, yeah. which was crazy. So we went up there. Um, we set up for the night, and then the next morning we. So the first day they do the 500. So they race the Crown Vics That's, and yeah. stuff, and then they had like the Van Prix. So. We had this dude next to a speedy cop and he pulled up with this like clapped out van, bro. And he's like kicking glass out of it and like cutting it, bro, like saws oaring out like plastics and fucking like the back seat belts and shit for weight reduction and stuff. And I'm like, what's going on here? He's like, oh, it's a van pre. So you just rock up. It just needs to be a completely stock motor. And then they all just race these these vans around. But, but they're not like racist. Like they, so they, they're entering like, they race like, like a normal person. Yeah. They're not... Uh. No, no, they're, they're... You need to be, like, selected. You can't just yeah, okay. be anyone. Yeah, okay. But, so, yeah, you're racing, like, a kidney bean yeah. around an oval track. But if you complete a whole oval, instead of cutting in, there's a ramp. And to finish the Van Prix, you need to hit the ramp at least once. <laughs> so, it is absolute carnage. Fucking I don't hell. know how many started, but I think about three were still running at the end. Like, Jesus. It was, it was just absolutely wild. But that first day... We got let in to like where the vendors are and Hinchy parked up with all the Skids for Kids boys, the yep. hidden motorsports mate, as uh, Craig can, you can see on Craig's shirt, brought him back a frosty shirt, shout yeah. out to Seth. Thank you very much too for you so, buying it for me. I didn't even, you thought about me when you were over there, so yeah, appreciate so, it, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, we um, yeah we did all that and then yeah, we were setting up Hinchy's thing and Hinchy's a bit of an introvert, so I'm... Um, I'm a bit of an introvert myself, so I like hate talking to people, getting loud. So I was don't like, take your shirt off at all I was, in public. I was, um. I was like, mate, you got a rig like this; it's hard to keep the shirt on. So I, le- I, he was just chilling with the skids for kids boys, mate. Andrew as well. Like, yeah, they were just they're top blokes. Like, I saw I saw them on all like uh, Kyle's videos with Luxifer, and then like they are actually like amazing people. Yeah, like I got a lot of time for them. But they, um, yeah, they were just chilling. So I was doing Hinchy's marketing all day. So I'm just walking around, like, being a wanker. Just, oh, mate, here you go. Oh, you never seen a VE Commodore before. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> truth, mate. Oh, we got these coming out the wazoo down there. Like, just having a good old time. Like, just, yeah. You got, got a bit rowdy in the night. Had a, had a few chats with some other Aussies and that. We won't get into that. But then the next day, we're walking through. The boys set up the burnout cars in there again. I was walking through and like there was about four Americans that just called out like, hey, Miles, how are you going today? And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm a bad bloke. Like, <laughs> Random I'm just, guy. I'm just a nobody. Like all the, all the Aussies are there with their cars, mate. I'm just, I'm just there. 
Like, <laughs> they were calling out to me. It was crack up. One yeah, of the dudes, uh, he tagged me in a post. So he's got a photo of him with Cletus, a photo of him with Travis Pastrana, a photo of him with Roman Atwood, and then a photo of him with me. <laughs> I, I was You're like, like, Gail, we made it. <laughs> I, was, I was like, what the fuck is going on? Like, like I'm was, a big deal over here. Bro, it was absolutely wild. Like, yeah. So. That's sick. Yeah, Kieran had rocked up by the second day for the burnouts and that, and like, yeah, it was better just, late than fucking never, mate. Well, yeah. Otherwise, I've been stuck with Inchy. Like, no offense, Inchy, mm. I love you, but like, <laughs> not a bad whole, thing. Not a bad thing. The whole thing. purpose of my trip was to go. Was to go with cuddles, support, yeah. Support me, guys. Support like, Kieran, yeah. Oh, mate, that Friday night when he pulled up and he fired that up in the back of the trailer. He only did the skid in the and trailer skid, and skid it for like twenty seconds, bro. Like, like it was. Pure heaven, like I was, I was almost crying, like True. knowing the heartache. Because he'd made it, yeah. Knowing like, the heartache that he'd gone through, and then yeah. like having to replace a motor in such a yeah. short period, and then drive all that way, and like to actually see him there physically Skid with the car, the yeah, with his RV, with the trailer, and then just we're just firing it up, not even. And what? Yeah, I was going to say bro. what, like, like what led just, to that? Was that peer pressure? Was it fucking bunch of beers? Oh, he, the boys <laughs> might have been hanging out with the last burnout master and yeah, uh, right. a, few, a few other rowdy uh, people. Bit there, of an arm so. twist, and then it's fucking. <laughs> yeah, um, mate. Just twist his pinky. Mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all know Garen. You don't need to twist his. So arm. if Lynchy says like you won't fucking skid in the trail, you're like, did oh, he still mate. have his slicks on, or did he have? No, no, still had the slicks on. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fuck, bro. On... So he bangs slicks bro, in the trailer. <laughs> plywood. It's fuck. I swear to God, it's like six mil plywood on the fucking bottom of that trailer, like the floor of that trailer. Slicks on the back and dick, just bro. bangs it. Like, it was fuck. hectic. But I remember that's... getting sent the video, and I was like, this is sick. Like more of that, and he's like, nah, nah. Like, that bro, that it. same night, Hinchy, no, nah, Lynchy's revving Jacko's Lux. And Jacko, like, Hinchy's got a video where he turns and Jacko's running up. Looks like he's going to, like, have a go at Lynchy. And then Jacko's like, rev it like a man, you pussy. <laughs> and then, like, jumps in and just, like, hits gate on it, bro. He's like, Arr, Arr, like Jesus. Bro, that thing, hits like, gate, you reckon? bro, ate it. Oh, like, <laughs> bro, like, hits limiter. Like, it's just. However they were. It's hectic. <laughs> like, it was, well, the fucking blow off valve was just losing its shit. Like, like, <laughs> It was just, so do you reckon the Americans are ready for any of the Aussie shenanigans, or they just like what the fuck? Oh no, we they they were very strategic. They knew we were coming. They put us in the back corner. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, like, way down there. Yeah. So the first night we were all around. hanging out down there, and then like probably I don't know a hundred meters away was like where everyone else was camped and everything. So so you're like secluded, like literally well, at, secluded. Like they were like fucking yeah, go well, run a muck over there. At the end of the night, a few of us got together, just went for a wander, made some friends. Yeah, like, yeah. We were like fuck you, this. yeah. But like, like they're like, we know you're gonna run a fuck, go bro, down there. Like, let me tell you, like Cletus events, if you wanna go meet some goddamn friendly rednecks that just breathe freedom, like go, bro. Like they are just the greatest people. We Every made, breath is just a bloody. We made friends for life. I met this one dude. That's he, so good. He does like speedway racing with um like Hondas and stuff. And he was like circle track. And oh, he yeah, was, yeah. I was chatting to him for ages, bro. And he's like, oh, man, you want to put a sticker on your car and shit? I'm like, bro, my car's in Australia. <laughs> but I'll take this sticker. <laughs> like, I'll put on cuddles. I'll put this sticker on my car, bro. And it will be at Summer Nats next year. And he literally just was losing his shit, bro. Like, Best he, feeling in the world. That's, mate, yeah. he was just like, that is like the craziest thing in the world. And I was like... Did you slip one on it's cuddles? It's just in Canberra, mate. Yeah, yeah, cuddles got one. Jacko's yeah, got one sick. as well. Like, so... Yeah, that's so yeah. good. Oh, mate, it was so just... Cletus events are like hundred percent have to go to. It was yeah. Fucking... It was just it was just good, like a great yeah. atmosphere, like very professionally run. So there's yeah. not enough room to like run amok. So we couldn't. It's not like power crews where you can just like slip off and like run amok. Like the whole, uh, the whole draw card is pretty well looked after, like with the grandstands around the track and stuff. But like, oh yeah, the nightlife. That's the one thing that I found over there was like. The nightlife is just completely different. Like the to whole, here. the whole like camping and tailgating and everything was like. Yeah. Man, I was just walking through like, I was walking through the car park one time, just going back down to where the RVs were and stuff, and I was like, oh, I'm thirsty. I was like, I was like six people over here, like just tailgating. I was like, wait, hey, g'day fellas, I'm from Australia. I'm just, <laughs> I'm a bit far from home. I don't know where my esky is. You reckon I could just steal a beer? I'm just a bit parched. And they're like, what the hell did you just say to us? I'm like, sorry, mate, I'm from Australia. You reckon I could just steal a beer? And they were like, man, have two. You want a shotgun a beer with me first? Like, I was like, fucking, fucking right, bro. So, 
I'm just shotgun beers with blokes, like yeah, it's sick. Like, the second day, like, so they've got the after, they got the after the day, like the nighttime shit, like yeah, down like, pat. It was like, just they just kept going. We were yeah. playing the second night. There was about five of us rocked up. There was a big table of people. They were all just playing beer pong, and then they were doing this cup flip thing, where you got to like drink your beer, drink your beer, and then you got to flip the cup, and then yeah, you do like goes, race down yeah. the table. Yeah. Like, yeah. mate, we were doing that for about two hours. I reckon, <laughs> just like slowly getting bloated. Like Jesus. Yeah, it was just because I was drinking the whole time, and then I'm and drink, then doing that, taking yeah. a little drink and going like, yeah, yeah. You don't play drink a game and not drink. It was like, wild. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, mate, got to the end of that night, I even had to pull the pin. I was like, I'm out. So, Fuck. yeah, Jacko's mate Cameron was there as well with his missus. Mm-hmm. Uh, he drives Wild One. He's one, yeah, the one to come over. He's down south, eh? Yeah, yeah, uh, Sydney. Sydney, so, yeah. I told him the to Black man- VS. Yeah. You? Yeah. I, told, I manned up and told him to come up here. So, yeah, fucking oath. Hopefully he grows a set, Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> I did start seeing his shit like come popping up on social media. Yeah. I was like, oh, fuck, he's over there too. Like, yeah, yeah that was oh, sick. Right. Gang- he's a real nice bloke. Like, yeah. yeah. And like, he's great. obviously friends with Jacko. Yeah. Like that, yeah. Yeah, so. Because didn't he drive? Jacko's locks. Yeah. At some, yeah. 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 The whole time. Yeah. The whole time. Like Jacko's just like, I'm going to go for a drive. Like, yeah. They double entered it at the Cletus event. I th- yeah. So Cameron, I think, did Cameron skid first? I think, no, I think Jacko's, yeah, no, there. Cameron, Cameron <laughs> skidded first in like the open class. Oh, okay. And then Jacko skidded in the pro class. The, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which is like wild, but like, yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah, we were just drinking and I just, I was, it was me, Cameron and Jacko and I was like, I'm out. Jacko was wasted. I'm like, Cameron, you can still understand what I'm saying. So you need to look after Jacko later. Fucking hell. Stumbled back to camp. <laughs> Jesus. So, so that was Cletus. That was event. the first day yeah, of Cletus. Yeah, the first, yeah. So second day of Cletus. Like, we're up there. Um, you might have seen in McKinchy's video, I uh, transitioned from Clickbait's marketing manager to... Cuddles as marketing manager, <laughs> and I was just standing there. Just, I do remember that video. Just chatting shit about, mate, everyone that rocked up, and they were just like, "Oh wow, what's this?" And I'd be like, "Oh, Struth, mate, you never seen a 1983 VHS LE Commodore with a blower hanging out the bonnet? Come out of factory, mate. Factory in Australia, this is all factory. Come out factory, like just absolute shit talking, just making friends. Like I yeah. remember Hinge's video. He pans and goes, "He is a fucking pest. Can't take <laughs> him anywhere." Then it goes back to like his own car, and you can just hear you in the background being like, "Yeah, they come out of factory like this." It's, <laughs> It's stock fucking VH. I was just like, oh my God. Oh, uh, mate, yeah. Uh, it's just, yeah, absolute ball. But then, yeah. Um, yeah, obviously, competition time comes. We all turn around, get a, get a bit more serious about it. I was, I was, I was hoping to see Lynchy skid that pad, but he was having transmission issues. So, ah, uh, yeah, that's right. Lynchy didn't, didn't skid at yeah. the Cletus event, unfortunately. So, but, and do they um, do passengers over there? Because I've seen a few guys not have passengers. So well, I was always, I haven't they, asked Kieran, but I was like... They didn't want passengers and then right. they were allowing passengers, but then I don't think too many people had passengers. Because so. I've seen so many skids from over there with no passengers. I'm like, yeah. what the fuck? Like, it's just having a, a passenger is like one of the weird, best things. Just a weird yeah. thing. So. Like I've never skidded alone in a yeah. car, but I'm like, I don't understand. Yeah. So yeah. I but think I've, they allowed the Procast to have... to have Passengers. Yeah, passengers. Okay. Because so. not just Cletus event, like there's been a few events... That just haven't had people just, in them. It's just different. Everything's the same, but it's Maybe different. it's insurance or, uh, yeah, something. Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, it was just, yeah, it was wild. Like, yeah. And then the second event, uh, the second day, yeah, they just rolled around and we got into it at the end Broke. of the day. Yep. So, but yeah, they just lined up. We had a few skids, rain delay. Like, the best bit was the opening. Like, we were all over in the crowd. We didn't have our cars down because they had the open class first and everything. We were all down around in the crowd and Cletus lines up in Neighbor. Like the cop car <clears throat> comes down, spins around, goes back up, does his little skid, comes back, and then you just see red, white, and blue fireworks go uh, up. Yeah. And then he gets that out, look jumps on top, man, and he's like, USA, USA. And like the whole crowd goes around. Like, fuck. In the video, you can see, I'm like, bro, I've literally got, like, I've got goosebumps now thinking about Talk, it. Yeah. Like, yeah. And I, I run over and Kieran and Hinchy there and I just look at Kieran and Kieran's like, bro, I've got two spots and <laughs> like, this is hectic. Yeah, and so like, they're like full into it. Like, bro, yeah. we literally were just like, this is this is why you're here. Like, yeah. to experience this yeah. and to be 100%. out there and put on a show later. Like, yeah, that's was so wild, good. So, Very yeah. patriotic and then, yeah. Oh, I, did, I remember the video, yeah, like as he tips it in and like comes out, it just goes, 
And you watch everyone in the crowd go boom. Yeah. Like, it's like, everyone, no, boom, me too. Like, you watch the whole, yeah. I'm sure you would have seen the camera angle go. Whoop. Yeah, you watch the whole. If you, <laughs> boom, yeah. I'm you watch the whole thing just shut. Like, yeah, yeah. For like three days. And you hear a bang. Something goes boom. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm still alive. Like, <laughs> but yeah, I remember watching the whole thing go, oh, fuck. And everyone's like, fuck, that's good. But it looked sick. Oh, man. Like, it, it looked was just, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was a once in a lifetime thing to yeah. like, be over there and see that and watch your mate skid his car for the first, like, for the first time for me seeing it mm -hmm. like it was just yeah it was wild like it was absolutely wild so then we rolled around we all got to be pad side and everything for all the skids which was yeah like amazing so i'm standing there i'm in a big hawaiian shirt like that i just i bought from lowe's before i left like the closest hawaiian print i could get to from colors. here like yeah yeah took it over there so i'm in that i'm in hinchy's lead like bright yellow legionnaire's hat which turns out every other australian hates I don't know why. I love it, mate. What Sunsafe. do you mean? Bro, everyone, the one over there. Bro, or? everyone was like, yeah, that, like, I hate that hat. Like, <laughs> I, was like, I was like, I wear this hat at home. Like, like, <laughs> yeah. That was one thing I couldn't get across. Like, yeah, I had a couple of issues with a few of the Aussies. And I was like, they're like, you need to turn it down. I'm like, mate, I'm a fuckwit at home. Yeah. Like, just because I'm over here. You're not like, turning it up right yeah, now. Yeah, like, I'm literally a wanker wherever I am. Like, I'm just, that's just me. Like. But yeah, just I'm in the Legionnaires hat. I'm in the the Hawaiian shirt. I was revving up the crowd like they were loving it, mate. I had people in the crowd like, yeah, Miles. Like, <laughs> I literally felt like an absolute superstar yeah. just for being a drunk wanker there, like supporting <laughs> me, mate. Bro, it was the greatest. Being the media fucking guy. Oh, mate, marketing, mate. Marketing, no, yeah, no, marketing that's, manager. That's, sorry, mate, it's yeah. my call. It is my call in call life. In I life. swear to God, Defin definitely. Mate, definitely. Hinchy at one point was like, bro, I need to take you to every event, and I was like yeah uh my schedule's open yeah yeah <laughs> like just you, like you know my overheads my schedule's open bro yeah. like, we can make this happen so, yeah but yeah it was just yeah it was wild so the first few cars went and everything and then um yeah we had a rain delay for probably about an hour which mm -hmm. like really like killed it a few of the crowd like jumped down under the stands and whatnot and then um yeah finally got back kieran rolls up to the line and he's fucking got a misfire and oh. i was like we are like, what the hell? So he's pushed back. He's like, oh, yeah, we got a dead coil, I'm pretty sure. So he's like, I'm going to get a coil off Hinchy's. Hinchy's being a six liter. Yeah, righto. Nah, bro. No I ain't going to work with no LS1, mm -hmm. LS1 coil replacement. So we're running around and then he's like, he's like, I got Lynchy bringing me a coil. And we're like, righto. So like everyone else is going. So it gets up to, I think it's uh, Skidma. Adrian and Skidma and then Patty and Batlin and then Kieran and like Skidma's just been pulled up to the line and we're like we still don't have the coil like ah. Lynchy was literally taking it off Lynchy and like running it up to us like I look up the hill and I hope no one has footage of this but I see Lynchy come around in the crowd and I just start sprinting <laughs> up the hill and like I get up there to him I get the call go god thanks bro like I turn around, start running back down. Luckily, Kieran saw the whole thing of me trying to run up a hill. So he's met me halfway up the hill as I'm running back down. Because, mate, I didn't... Pass the baton. Mate, I don't think I would have made it the whole way down the hill. I was just... You was wouldn't like, have seen your mate like, skid. You would have been dead. Ah, yeah. Like, oh, mate. Uh, yeah, so fight, like got that coil on, got it firing up. Sounded like it was on all eight again. And huh. he rolled up to the line and, like, yeah, killed it. Like, the skid was absolutely fucking wild yeah. but it was on asphalt yeah so those tires everyone's tires went too quickly yeah so yeah because that's yeah. when the delaminated hay and like rolled off yeah. Oh, yeah 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 so i got a sick picture one someone in the crowd sent me a picture of uh patty and batlin it looks like he's lost a wheel like he's come around and like just as like the whole beads peeled off it like there's sparks flying out in the back and it looks like he's lost a wheel it's fucking ah. wild but like the asphalt was just killing everyone's yeah. tires so yeah, um, plumber's crack that won. He's just in a. He's literally just in like a GMC van with a fucking big block in it. Like, we were next to them all day, and I was giving out cuddles, stickers, and stuff. And like, he had his two sons there, and it was the best banter all day. Like, just giving them shit, and like, I was giving out cuddle stickers, and they come over with like plumber's crack stickers <laughs> that were like bigger. And they're like, oh, you want a bigger sticker? And I'm like, I'm like, will you, will you kids fuck off? I'm like, I was, yeah. I was telling old man, I'm like, bro, I'm literally going to fucking like 
I'm gonna tap your kids up, bro. Keep doing this shit to me. Like, like I'll hit a kid in public. Bro, this is embarrassing to me. Like, <laughs> I'm getting up so oh, by Bro, kids. like That's every gangster. time. Every time, bro. It's like I'll just, just one up you here with bro, the they fucking. They were just undercutting me and shit. And I'm like, oh, we got shirts over here. If you want to support the boys, bro, like they're putting everything in to try and come over here and put on a show for you. And yeah, they're like, we got shirts over here, and I'm like, well, you got shut the fuck up. I was, I was like, I was like, god damn it, like I've not hit a child in a while, but yeah, day, mate, in a while. Day. Like, oh, it was the best. Like, oh fucking hell. Yeah. Oh mate, they they were amazing, and like he he won, like it was like a good skid, and he just it was just a time limit thing. It was a DNF yeah. for under sixty seconds. Oh right. And okay. everyone, everyone, I swear to God, all the Aussies just being yeah. Aussies on the asphalt and not. Not being ready this. for it. Yeah. yeah. Like an asphalt would just yeah, tear that shit apart. Yeah. yeah. So but it was hectic. Then at the end of yeah. the night. So he rolls around, does his skid, pulls out to the exit. We all come running around, high high fiving and yahooing and everything. We all we go over to like see the the final show where they're announcing the winners and stuff. We're on fucking Yahoo and I see some kids in the crowd and I'm like, oh, he's won a cuddles shirt. Just throw a, re- just a regular Lowe's shirt <laughs> <laughs> over into the crowd, bro. A couple of kids like scrapping over it. Oh, and I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, bro, we made it. Jesus we made Christ. it. Call Gail. We Call Gail. <laughs> we fucking oh, made mate. it. Like it was, it was amazing. Like, and then Fucking yeah hell. stuck around for a few hours like packed up changed the tires and stuff and yeah got to meet got to meet uh the big boys so cletus came mm. over and spoke to um uh spoke to kieran for a little bit yeah because he was like oh yeah because there was a bit of a yeah bit of a question at the end because he's like oh yeah f-, like cletus is like oh yeah second place was patty in uh cuddles i think and then was like oh no no sorry in batlin and we were like oh what was it I'm like, we, we oh, got cuddles. We'll yeah. take second if you got it. Like, yeah, okay. So, so you yeah. thought cuddles come second, but just got the name wrong. Yeah, or, but he got the name yeah, right. We, we didn't know, but then we found out. Got later, the name but, right, yeah, but got the car too, wrong. Too soon with the tires, DNF. So, okay. yeah, but yeah, hectic, and yeah, had a, had a chat to him, met J- met Jack Stand and yeah, uh, LS George, who is literally as cool as you think. Yeah, he's just laid back. Yeah, man, no worries, man. Like, it's just ah. cool. Like, yeah, great to see you guys come over here. Like, it's just, yeah, it was hectic. Like, that's so good. Yeah, the one thing that got me though was like the first day. I was like, oh, I was like, that's those people from that thing. Yeah. And Hinchy's like, bro, there's two types of people in this world: the people that ask for autographs and the people that get asked for autographs. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> I was like, I really wanted some autographs. <laughs> <laughs> Hit you just big dick just straight away. Bro, I was like, why are you going to do this to yeah. me, man? Like, He's been in my RV. We're not bro, that. I was like, yeah. That's fucking, that's gold. But yeah. So after that, we um we finished there. And then, yeah, because all the other Aussies, they're a bit, a bit older, a mm-hmm. bit older heads, been in the game. Like, Paddy had his family and everything as well. And um, um, imposter Craig Bailey was having his family meet him later on and stuff. Yep. And like, Hinchy was like, well, I'm just... I'm just a young fella. I'm just going to go party with you guys. So he just, he ended up linking up with Kieran and Jacko and coincidentally, uh, me and Austin yep. as well. Shout out to Austin. Yeah, I've seen mate, a lot of his stuff. Austin, yeah, fucking our, killing it too, yeah. yeah he's coming over too for some of that time. Amateur of videographer, mate. Yep. I will I will help sponsor you getting you over here. Yeah. Like for some of that space. Even man. if you just come for a holiday and a piss up, bro, and we'll just yeah. go watch some skids. He messaged me, he's like, Shut up, do I buy pinky shirts online now? Wait till I get to some of that. So I was like, Fuck, you come like, to some of that? No, no, he's... just pick it up from that chicken Minnesota, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what you did, kid. Yeah. You yeah. know what you did. The so fucking <laughs> So Hinchy's Hinchy's joined up with the boy and then the rest of us and then um yeah we just started the road trip together and uh, yeah. we ended up driving over to uh jackson wisconsin to uh motor mania where um mm-hmm. where kieran had rebuilt the motor and everything yep so that was a bit of an experience um bit of and a yeah big, i think yeah the both bit of a all, big all, wig sorry, there. all three of the boys were parked up there yeah, jacko's so, locks and hinchy and that yeah and then um yeah a few nights on the piss Mm-hmm. Like, responsibly of course Obviously. And, um, <laughs> drink responsibly yeah, always drink responsibly yeah uh, 13 17 i don't know someone you can call but <laughs> not us so yeah just good time um yeah just a bit of a different culture like yeah the big thing for me was like going to a bar and you're like oh yeah just a beer and they're like yeah no worries here's your beer and you're like and they just started tab 
wherever you go. Oh, you right. start a tab. You just don't pay, which is like, it's good, but it's also dangerous. Yeah. Because I don't know about you guys, but I get to a point where I'm not counting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and then they're like, this is this many hundred dollars. And you're like, how fucking much beer does I drink? But <laughs> it's, it's, it's different over there, but like... Yeah. So they didn't even ask you. They're just like, yeah, we'll just run a tab and yeah. pay it at the end. Yeah. Fucking hell. So, That's yeah. crazy. Just Yeah, just a weird concept to me, but... But when you're like, eh, yeah. drunk, drunk miles, we'll pay that at the end. Yeah. <laughs> well, sober miles, sober probably. miles is concerned, but <laughs> sober miles had been pretty good for a few months, so he wasn't yeah. worried about drunk miles as antics. Yeah, so yeah, we, uh, no. yeah, we got a bit loose, but yeah, yeah, Wisconsin was pretty cool when um went to the state fair, yeah, patted a few animals. I did, yep. Uh, met some met some bovines and some didn't, stuff on four <laughs> legs too. Didn't cuddles win um the best fucking sheep or whatever the fuck it was what oh yeah was it? it was the grand champion land yeah, he was, was, a gr- was yeah. wearing a cuddles shirt and i remember yeah. i remember hinge being like a... the only time cuddles ever gonna be a grand champion <laughs> <laughs> which i was like fucking... ruthless yeah i was bro, like ouch bro for an introvert bro, yeah he, comes out with he's them. a 10 yeah. out of 10 keyboard warrior bro <laughs> he's like he's like i got this bloke he doesn't know who i am and i was like bro we're literally like yeah. walking around the same place together and you're still chatting shit about him yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, had, that's right. I had the yeah. The cover was like a Hawaiian. Oh mate. but that thing, was yeah. good. That was a good time. That was like a bonding moment. I shit myself at one point. So we went on a couple of rides, and we were mm. we had to convince Hinchy. Hinchy's like, I'm not going on this big ride. It was like the claw down at Dreamworld, but it had been set up by Carnies three days later, and like I'm sure there was loose bolts. But like you get in, you bolt up, it twists around, and then it goes up, and then all the way over a couple of times. Hectic hectic so we're getting on there we're all like we're just gonna do it like fuck it let's get on convinced hinchy hinchy gets on i get on and i'm <laughs> uh i'm in between unfit and fit yeah whatever you're like that is. plus size yeah yeah or well, negative plus size yeah so you think that for the winner so i is... i jumped i jump on old mate's trying to put the little harness thing down oh like, god oh god didn't work so he's like jump up and i'm like right i so jump up so he clicks it so it sets off the safety and then he just manually opens it and then puts me back in it. And I was like, I'm going to no. die. <laughs> so it wasn't, it never clipped back in. No, no. So it's still, it's like ratcheted in. Yeah. But it needed to ratchet a certain way just to click off a sensor so that they could run the thing. Oh, bro. I was literally fuck. like, I'm going to die. Like it was fucking wild, but I didn't obviously. Jesus Christ. But like, I was just like, fuck it. It's America. I'm like, we either make it home or we don't. But either way, <laughs> I'm not going to be walking. Story. Yeah, yeah. Either way, I'm not going to be walking out of here. Cause the 21, chicken, the 22 days. <laughs> but yeah, it was just, yeah, that was hectic. But that was a good time. Fucking hell. Yeah, and that was a good bonding moment because Hinchy just didn't want to do it. And we were like, brother. You forced like, it. You, you fucking... Well, we didn't force him. We were just like, <laughs> just do it. Like, Stop you talking, you talking yourself into not doing it. Yeah is so much worse than just hating it up until it's done. Yeah, yeah. Like, because then you don't you don't know. Yeah. And then Hinch, most of the time you want to get back on and go bro, again. Bro, got off and was like, bro, that was wild. Yeah. And I was like, bro, how did I not die? Yeah. Like, you think that was wild, bro? <laughs> were, you just, were you holding that thing? Like, bro, please don't I was go. holding the one next door in case mine came off. <laughs> like, I at least had one hand on, on a harness. That yeah, you're like, this in. one's clipped in. I'll hold this one. <laughs> bro, I was like, I was literally, I was shitting bricks. Like, Fucking hell. Bro, and these were not like Australian carnies too. Like these carnies. Proper. Bro, there are a few generations into like... Into carnyism mm, like, or however you want to fucking, whatever they call it. Yeah. yeah They've been carnying for a while. Yeah, definitely, definitely got some ties to Alabama. Fuck. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, a few missing teeth, a few extra teeth. Jesus. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Freedom different. Bit going on. Yeah. Fucking hell. So, yeah, just keeping it in the family. But, um, <laughs> yeah, that was wicked. So, I did a few things in yeah. Jackson, Wisconsin. And that and was then, like a small fair, hey? Like a yeah, small town. Just a county fair, fair, yeah. county fair yeah. bro. Just a yeah. little county fair. Yeah, just see some of the so, videos. I was like, fuck, that looks like a small town yeah. fair. Like, like, we, were watching ho- we were watching horse pools. And like the Americans we were with were like, oh, you never seen horse pools before? And I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck are you saying? <laughs> like, it's literally. So they, um, yeah, they set up like a horse with a truck behind it. And it's got some weights on it and it's got to lift the weights and then it's got to pull the truck a certain distance and then they increase the weight. And I was like, okay. What? I was like, okay. It's and like I, strong member with a horse. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, like two Clydesdales sort yeah. of looking things. And I was like, okay. And then like they were like, oh, mate. Whoever wins this gets to go to the state fair. 
I was like, I was like, who fucking cares? <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? You're like, I don't understand what's I was happening. Like, what are we watching? Like, but they were just like, yeah. <laughs> like, we were, just, we were MAGA. We were all screaming out in the crowd. Like, we we're getting dirty looks from people and stuff. We were just like, yeah, pull that truck. What <laughs> like, the fuck? It was hectic. Like, we just we ended up just walking away. What but the like, fuck? It was just, yeah, it was heaps of stuff. Like, it was weird. What did I try over there? Uh, I tried cheese curds. Literally just deep fried cheese curds. What's cheese curds? It's just a cheese curd. It's like cheese, but like a curd. I don't know. But I did, I ate some of that. I don't understand the curd part. What's cheese? What do you mean? Just cheese. cheese. Curds. They're just cheese curds. You know how you get cheese curd out of like no, a cheese cloth? No. So that's like, what I'm like, I don't understand what's happening. Yeah, like what cheese, do you mean? Like cheese curds. I assume it's like off the top of like the cheese or something. It's okay. like the, you know how um, Little Miss Muffet, Saturday Tuffet, eating no curds and Yeah, like, that's what it curds. is. Yeah. Right. Okay. So they get that and then they you deep know what fry Okay, yeah, I was like, so why I, is anyone here that's fucking I, I bought no like, idea? I bought like a $20 US like container of like cheese curds, like freshly deep fried with like three different dipping sauces and stuff. And I was like, oh yeah, oh, yeah I don't know, it's pretty good. Yeah. And, like before I, re- I was pretty drunk. I was like, before I even realized it, I'd eaten like probably, I don't know, 800 grams of like just deep fried cheese and oh, then spent Jesus. the next hour walking around and going, geez, it's getting heavy. Eh? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> everyone's like, you try the cheese curds? I'm like, yeah, I got that $20 thing. And they're like, bro, that's for a fucking medium to large family. <laughs> like, that is not for one person to consume. I'm Fuck. like, I'm like, well, don't send my drunk ass over to try something that you recommend without fucking telling me first. Like, yeah. Fuck I was like, that's hell. dumb. Or how, give me like a fucking free family to eat it oh, with. Oh, bro. Jesus like, Christ. Like, yeah, delicious. That's... But yeah, definitely, definitely had some ramifications the next day. Oof. So, but yeah, it got through that. Jackson Ugh. was pretty cool. Um, yeah, That's nasty. Motormania guys, really helpful. Did a few, few services and repairs and stuff, and then mm-hmm. um, yeah, road tripped over to Power Cruise in Minnesota. Mm-hmm. So we were leaving early that morning. I was supposed to. Kieran was going was going to have Austin as a passenger. Yep. I was going to, Hinchy was going to wake me up at 5 a.m. because he had to detour and pick up a couple of things, just probably a couple of hours out of the way, on the way there. And then Jacko, Jacko. So I wake up at like 5.30 in the morning being like, oh, fuck, Hinchy didn't wake me up. <laughs> I'm like, oh, right, oh. Hinchy's like, yeah, I didn't want to wake up, bro. Like, we had a fucking late night. Like, he's like, I just fucking rolled out by myself. I was like, oh, yeah, sweet. Like, no worries. So he went, he'd gone. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. So... And then I don't know. So probably, where were you in? You're in Kieran's, Kieran's RV. Kieran's oh, RV, okay. yeah. Gotcha. So and then about eight hours later, we're like cruising along, and uh, probably not even probably about seven hours later. Yeah, we get just get a message from Hinchy. He's having troubles with the RV and stuff. It's just struggling up hills and everything. Like, and then yeah, we get another one. It's just a photo of uh, of his trailer just rear-ended, Fucking and then the side smashed. of his RV all smashed in and shit, and then. Fuck. Just did not respond to our group chat for about twelve hours after that, and we were just like, "He didn't." What the hell, yeah. Oh, he just sent the photo and then just bounced. Yeah, like just, out of the... he just didn't respond. He was still oh, in the group chat, but just fuck. didn't respond. Yeah, so but you'd be like, obviously you're... he's he's yeah. in a sticky situation, like, yeah. in a country like he's unfamiliar with, and just trying to figure everything out. So he's yeah, he's gone through. He's called everyone, and then um, surprisingly enough, Seth with uh, with Frosty. From Hidden Motorsports has uh, rolled into Brainerd, unloaded his burnout car, grabbed a couple of the Aussie boys, and um, yeah, rolled out. Probably about I don't know about two and a half hours out Fuck. to go meet Hinchy just to load clickbait up and bring it back to bring it back. Holy so, shit! So like a five-hour, six-hour probably round trip by yeah. the time you fuck around and so did yeah, that. Right. Wow. Did that brought clickbait to the track where it was all sweet, it's all safe. Like it was pretty lucky like yeah. a couple of little nicks yeah so if you it looks like he hit it kind of like veered off because he yeah. clickbait was like fine but the back of the trailer was but it was fucked. hectic and then he's swerved yeah, back into come, the yeah. rv a bit yeah. so yeah it was crazy but um yeah and then jacko has gone out and helped um so the trailer's written off trailer got picked up by um like a tow truck yep. and just taken off to go get assessed and everything yep. and then the rv couldn't get assessed yet so jacko's this, this cracked me the fuck up as Jacko sent us a video. He's, um, the RV is still struggling up hills, like mechanical issues and stuff. So they just had to go to an RV park back, back about 40 minutes or something to drop the RV off and just 
pay for it to be there for the weekend, oh, get, okay. get Hinchy's stuff, and then just come to like, the track for the event. Yeah, yep, yep. So yep. they've done that, and like as it's struggling up hills and shit, Jacko sent us a video of him being like, "This is bullshit," and then just puts the foot down and just ram- rams his fucking van like gently into the back of Hinchy's in the, in the back of Hinchy's RV, which is struggling to help push it up hill. What? <laughs> It was just pushed up the hill with like, his van. Literally, literally Fucking just hell. put his van into the back of Hinchy's puppy. No, we were just like, what the fuck? Jacko's like, I was getting impatient sitting behind him, man. Like, his, his thing was not going uphill. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it was hectic, mate. Fucking hell. Oh, it was wild. The boys are getting out of control over there. No, nah, bro, that was him tame. <laughs> like, Fucking hell. Oh, mate, I skipped over uh, a certain reel that copped us a bit of la- backlash as well. Mm. So... On the first trip to Jackson, pulled into a Walmart for the night, and I was like, oh, yeah, sweet. I was like, I'll do the right thing here. I was like, I'll buy groceries and fill up the fridge so we've got, like, fresh eggs, fucking bacon, some salad, like, some drinks and stuff. Like, I'll do that, and as I'm, like, waiting to get to a register, the boys are like, oh, yeah, those are some nice-looking dresses. Mm. And I was like, I was like, no, nah, they're not. They're like... We met, this is where we met Marley and... We, and Miley Kira. and Kira. And Kira. Yeah. They're like, we're going to wear dresses to Applebee's. And I'm like, no, the fuck we're not. So I literally, I, pay, I paid $200 US. I'm sure we can insert uh, a photo like there too. $200 yeah, sure. Australian, like like $130 US for all these groceries. I wander out to the RV, start putting them into the fridge and shit. Boys rock up and they're like, mustard or green? And I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> they're like, here you go. Check me a fucking mustard dress. And I'm like, no. And they're like, we're all doing it, bro. Like, this was another thing, like, Hinchy getting on the on the, uh, the, the in- ride. Yeah, the introvert like, gets just, like, fucking. Just do it, bro. Just, <laughs> they were like, but the game is straight face. Like, first one to crack, loses. And I was like, what the fuck? So we put these dresses on. Hinchy looks like a proper fucking grandma, like <laughs> hectic. Kieran looks like some like half Samoan chick. Yeah, his, Kieran his, his his hanging tattoo. out. Midriff. Yeah, and his midriff. Yeah, Wait, I was just like, what the fuck? Mate, put that skirt on and rolled it up like a year 12 Catholic schoolgirl, like a professional. Like, it was wild. I remember he, his midriff hanging out and I was just like, what the fuck am I looking at? And then Austin puts his little thing on and then I put mine on and I was like, well, this is bullshit. I'm the only one that actually fills out this dress. I was like, what the fuck? I was the only one with tits. I was like, all right. Oh. So we start walking over. One of the boys knocks a drink out of my hand yeah. by accident. And I'm like, I'm in character. And you're full like... I'm in character at this yeah. point. And I'm like, oh, no. And I look over and she's got it all on camera. And I was like, you motherfucker. Yeah. I mean, I saw that oh. video. I was just like, that is... Watching yeah. you, like, the way you, like, you're like, oh, my God, like, with your hands and shit. I was like, dude, you fucking right. now. So, it was like, it was keep it all serious. Like, we got about 20 meters from the RV and then just all cracked up. Like, <laughs> we were walking along. Some dude's driving down the car park. He yells something out. And we we're like, fuck, are we getting shot? Like, full CO Von <laughs> joke. Like, <laughs> you boys out there fucking fagging around. Like, <laughs> you boys been queering? Yeah, that's you're it. You're like, ah, oh, fuck. You boys out there queering? Like, Jesus. <laughs> bro, I was like, Jesus. So, <laughs> Oh, yeah, bro. I remember watching the videos. I was just like, "What the fuck is happening?" Bro, will they tag? And then you've got like cocktails, and then like the video was like um, Cindy Lauper playing like girls yeah. just want to have fun, yeah. and like girls not out. I was just like, "Fuck!" They've deep dived into this one like a hundred percent. Hinchy is such a professional when it comes to that stuff. Yeah. Before we'd even like ordered our food, we just got the cocktails. Before we'd even ordered the food, he had 90% of that reel done. Like, edited, <laughs> cut down, chip chopped, like, the fucking music sorted, like... Fucking bro, hell. Bro, he is onto it, like... All off his yeah. phone. Yeah. True. Yeah, fucking like, hell. amazing. But yeah, that uh, that reel got taken down for uh, breaching community standards, so... <laughs> Shout out to Instagram. I really, Did it actually? I really appreciate that, bro. You cannot find that anywhere. The only place you'll find that is, it is our on group chat. phone. Or in our group chat. No. No. True. No, I actually, it's only a leak. Nah, I it's... screen recorded it. I've got it. Oh, uh, uh, there you go. So he can't, so the editor, the editor can so, put it into the video. So tune in next this. time to <laughs> the next idle talk. I just got to go bash Ryan and clear his phone. No, no, we just got to go talk about something out here. Okay? Yeah, yeah. So, so Instagram took it down. Yeah. Oh, so, right. Yeah. For breaching it took, what? It took a couple of days. I don't know. Probably me being all like, oh. <laughs> yeah, They're like, he did that too well. He's fucking done yeah. this before. Yeah. 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 Miley. 
Oh, yeah, mate, Ma- yeah, Marley wild. and Kira. It was whatever wild. the fuck we yeah. yeah, that was the worst. I remember thing. I named yeah I, I changed the names in the group chat to that, and then like you changed yours back again. I was like, fuck off, <laughs> they, well, this they, is happening. They, they, <laughs> like, they tagged, you can't paste a video and then be like, can't call me. They tagged Marley. me in a photo, and I <laughs> to get out of it, I was like, oh, I lost a bet. I don't know what these other yeah four you did yeah. Are doing. <laughs> Yeah, I actually thought you fucking lost a bet until just now when you told us the Bro, real story. I was story. like, what I the was like, hell? Fucking... I walked away from that situation not thinking like, Miles is probably a large. <laughs> like, let's get a Fuck. size 17 for Miles. Like, <laughs> it was funny. wild. Do you want to take a break for a second? No, we're good. Oh. I, need, I need a piss. Yeah. You want to wrap it up? No, we'll, just, we'll take a break. Bro, I haven't even gotten to Bower Cruise. We're an hour and a half in. Oh, shit. So anyway, we went to Power Cruise. It was wild, bro. It was hectic camping. Uh, no, nah, bro. Power Cruise is just, yeah. There's so many things about Power Cruise. Like, it's just, it's not. And not Power Cruise here. Like, it's not the same. Power Cruise, Minnesota. It's not Power Cruise. Yeah. It's any track day where you race. So, okay. the racetrack, you've got a big straight, comes around through the burnout box, which was the, the burnout pad. And then you've got a, uh, an eighth mile or a quarter mile and then you've got a big sweep around and then a whole heap of corners and then you come back to that first straight they just want to race yeah so okay. they just want to go fast that's all they want to do over there and it was infuriating because they were banking up probably three corners doing two kilometers an hour to just, like... so, just so they could pair up to race yeah okay and it was infuriating so they're not about power skids or like no, yeah they just had no idea and like yeah at one point jacko was out there drifting with me in there and he's he's like i'm getting people to slow down they're pulling their phones out knowing we're going to do some dumb shit and then jacko starts drifting and then the bloke in front slows down so he can film backwards and we're oh, doing like 120 yeah. k's an hour sideways straight at them and they're like slowing down to get the shot like I was scre- yeah, I was literally so they, at one point screaming out the window. Jacko's yeah. pissing himself because I'm like, what? So are just you the concept of doing? power cruises is, isn't like it's kind of lost well, like the over big there. Thing, like, everyone kept coming up to the cars, being like, "Oh, this <laughs> looks fast. How how fast is this down the quarter mile?" And we're like, "Bro, it goes zero to two hundred mile an hour instantly. Yeah, and doesn't move. And then, yeah, like yeah. that's yeah. how fast it is. Like <laughs> yeah. they just could not grasp the concept of like yeah. we don't want to go from here to there as quick as we can. Like, yeah, yeah." Just zero concept. Yeah. And then Kieran's like 1079, ask Damo. <laughs> um, Ooh. But, but like, yeah, they just it, they just do not get it. But yeah. then the camping side of it was like, like it was still good to be out there yeah. and stuff. You yeah, just yeah. had to be so aware of it. And yeah. like, it's not, yeah, everyone not the same racing, as over here. Yeah, everyone was yeah. racing down that drag strip yeah. like they had rear brakes. Yeah. Like, yeah. All the Aussies were racing down. Lynchy lost it at one point. We were lined up to get on. We're watching them like, so it was him and Skidmer and they're smoking it up down there and then Skidmer, Skidmer's behind him and then Lynchy just starts going. So Skidmer just gives it a boot full to get in front of him and I was like, holy shit. And then, yeah, I was like, oh, Lynchy's got this, like, it's Lynchy. And then Lynchy's like, Jacko's like, nah, bro. And then as soon as he says, nah, bro, Lynchy's 90 degrees, 90 degrees back the other way and then ends up going backwards and like did very well, only like just dinked the back and then the front on the wall. Oh, is that those two fucking... Bro, it was hectic. And then, like, the next day, we're standing there at Lynchy's car, and Jacko's just... Jacko, he just leans over, just snaps off a bit of his bodywork, like, where it was all (laughs) Take that home with him. And I was like, I was like, bro, what the fuck? He's like, you want some? I'm like, yeah. He snaps... (laughs) You want some Lynchy? He snaps that bit in half and, like, gives me a little bit. And I, I gave that to Damo, and I said, you can... You can super glue that onto the dash of the VB. Like, as soon as you learn to drive. Fuck. <laughs> Damo was like, what? <laughs> what? But yeah, like, it was wild. But like, their nightlife, bro. We seen all these rednecks roll in with caravans and then just like hydraulic down onto the ground. And I was like, bro, everyone here is fucking balling. Like, if you've got like mm. any sort of hydraulic trailer over here, like, fuck, that's dollars. That's, like, yeah. you're balling, bro. And they were like, they called them ice castles. So they drive them out onto the frozen lakes. Oh, and then right. drop them down and then just pull like big round bits out of the floor to go ice fishing and shit. And a little ice fishing rod, bro. What the fuck? It's literally a fishing rod about this long because you don't need to cast. You just need you to just drop, drop it down, bro. It's the cutest little fishing rod. It's like if you gave like a four-year-old a fishing rod, but it was like the same size as like a regular fishing rod. Yeah, shit. Just this little cute little fishing rod. It was the greatest thing in the world. Fuck. But yeah. We that's, were, um, yeah, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, we were over there. It was like, it was wild. We had... Stopped in, got a few fireworks on the way as well. So, 
I did see a video got, of like we got told we can't let off like fireworks. Tower, yeah. So I was given fireworks the Americans to set off, so they got in trouble, not me. Oh, I was, yeah, I was like, well, yeah. Big brain move. <laughs> Big brain move. But I gave yeah. a dude like a 21 shot box and I was like, here you go, set this off. And I'm like, we're walking over to like set it off behind this truck. And some lady comes over, oh, hey, Ozzy, you can't set that. I'm like, lady, I got no fireworks. I'm going to piss on the fence. Like, she's like, oh, you're right. You go, you go, you go do your thing. And he's like, you, you cannot be letting up fireworks. This old bloke I just gave this box to 20 seconds earlier. <laughs> and I was like, sorry, bro. Fucking <laughs> hell. Poor bastard just copped it. Big brain. Jesus. Big brain. Fucking hell. But yeah, oh, mate, it was wild. Yeah, it was absolutely wild. And then, um, yeah, ended up going down to Sturgis. But, uh, mm. We're getting to stage in a sec. Yeah. We need to take a break. We need to piss. Roger. Yeah. We will... Uh... We'll be back. All right. Back from that little um, <clears throat> stoppage we just had. Drank, yeah, Sturgis. a few tanks. Yeah. yeah. So. Sturgis. So yeah. rolled into Sturgis. Yeah, went back to Jackson, went over the cars a little bit, and then... Um, yeah, rolled to Sturgis. So Hinchy, after his issue, had to store clickbait at, mm-hmm. at Brainerd, where Power Cruise was. <clears throat> so, oh yeah, but Power Cruise wild. They literally, we were down, there's like a petrol station out the front, and Hinchy drove clickbait out there one day, and then Paddy drives battling down, does a couple of laps up and down the road, and then pulls into the servo. They get a few, few shots and stuff, and then, yeah, they went for another cruise down, and... Again, Austin got in the front and I got in the back of Batlin and we went for a cruise up and down the road with Hinchy behind us in clickbait. Like, Far out. But it was wild. Like, it was wild just cruising down. Like, on the road. Oh, just cruising down the road. Like, yeah, it was yeah, insane. And like, no one batted an eyelid. Like, it's just like, oh yeah, that's a cool car and just keep driving. Like, yeah, over here, jail. Mm. Like, jail. Straight to jail. Car, be- car. car becomes a, yeah, <laughs> car becomes car. a coffee table. Jail. Yeah. Far out. Uh, but it was wild. Yeah. But yeah, it was just, yeah, it was hectic. So then, yeah, Power Cruise, we ended up going back to, um, yeah, skids at Power Cruise were wild. The big thing was um, Jacko. Like, Lynchy came back. So their entry chute was called, sort of angled back away from the pad and then it opened up to like just a big, big open area. So in a few of the demo skids, Lynchy came from like around the corner mm-hmm. absolutely flying. And the whole theme of like every skid comp was like, oh, Lynchy went big, Jacko go bigger. So Jacko's going bigger. And then in the competition, Lynchy comes like up close to the wall and like real close and like goes back. And then Jacko comes down and like pretty much hits the entry chute that's coming back the other way and was like absolutely wild. In all the videos, you can see when Jacko pulls up at the end, it's just Lynchy over over the barrier over the concrete barriers just bowing down <laughs> like yeah that kid, loved what he saw mate that kid is the future like, yeah if you don't know jacko's lux like get on board like yeah. follow him support him buy his merch do whatever you can do to help him out like yeah he is just yeah can nicest draw. nicest kid too yeah like 20 he- kids 24 like oh shit yeah it's wild like because i remember what was it what was the first summer nights i went to 35 so I went down for 35 and like, it was good. Like it was good seeing skids, like a skid ute and everything with the mm. big block. Like it's just, it was a lot of cool skids. But then Jacko's Lux come out and just went absolutely wild in these yeah. little red Hilux, like NA. And we were just like, what the hell? Like, yeah, yeah. it was amazing. Like, but meeting him and everything, like cracked me up. I was chatting one night and I was like, bro, I was telling him about my experience being in the grandstands, watching that skid. And was like, bro, that was wild. That was like my favorite skid of the whole weekend. Mm-hmm. And he was like, man, I've been watching Wing at Motorsports since day one. Oh, He's true. Like, I know all about you guys, bro. I love what you do and everything. And I was like, man, I'm trying to fangirl over yeah. you. And then you're fangirling over me. And I'm like, oh. Fuck. That's yeah. so good. Bro, it was Thanks wild. for the support too, Jacko. We yeah. appreciate it. Oh, bro. Yeah, amazing. He'll definitely be on this couch at some point. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, Whenever he, he just- dragged his ass up to back in queensland yeah for the first time that's what i was telling him i was like if you ever come up to queensland like we would have found you like, yeah you are our people yeah like we we find like-minded people yeah and we get along so, yeah yeah it was just that was wild but but like hitting the entry shoot like 
yeah, you can just hear everyone, like, in the videos, they're just like, what the hell just happened? Like, bro, he was, no, Lynchy wouldn't fit there in a Corolla, and this kid's turning around a Hilux in it, and we're just like, what the fuck is going on? Like, fuck. just mind-blowing. But yeah, he is, yeah, he's next level. I got nothing but great things to say about yeah. him, like, I wish, I wish nothing but the best for him, like, yeah, in 100%. life, I hope that he achieves everything that he wants to do, because yeah. it's just... Yeah, he's got the passion and the skill to get out there. Not sure yeah. what his schedule's looking like, but fucking no, I'd love to have him come up here for Fridays next year, the long weekend. Even if he just came and camped with us, like fuck me, that'd be sweet. Yeah, but he, he he's talking about what he wants to do. To uh, I don't know if I can say this, but he's saying for him to drive how he wants to drive on the pad, he might need an extra pedal. So I got yeah, I got right. a car I got a car with three pedals. Shit. So, there we go. Chuck him the keys to the Supra. Oh, man. mate. That's super <laughs> looking. That's super looking thing. Yeah. Nah, man. What are you talking about? Stock six two will make the same as his Pro Charge five. <laughs> yeah. Well, well Skyline's yeah. making as much power as his at the moment because neither of them have got fucking motors in them. Wow. Well, <laughs> true. All of us are. Yeah. All of us are making yeah. zero. Yeah. So. And then yeah, yeah sk- I think you touched on it. Like skids at Sturges are like yeah in the oh, middle mate. of like the area. It's like wow. a car park. Like, yeah, it but like, was you're like, like near the park. you're like near the pole, like concrete yeah. barriers around you. No, two, just two barriers. So one one on either. So there's a pole here, and then just a barrier on either side, and we were just in between the barriers, like Fuck. watching skids. It was hectic, like it was wild. I got yeah, I've got the great shot. So I'm working. This will probably come out before I get the video done. I've just I've got that much footage to go through, and I am no editor. So, <laughs> Ryan will have this edited and out before I get that done, but it should be coming hopefully in the next little bit. So, yeah. if you're stuck around this long, yeah, there's some more coming. <laughs> there is some more coming. But, um, yeah, it was wild, like, literally rolling into Sturgis, and they, the blokes there at the Thunderdome, they want to, um, they want to make it like a, an annual sort of thing, like a thunder from down under oh, right. sort of get up where yeah. they just get the Aussie boys to come in. But yeah, Sturgis is wild, like biggest bike rally in the world. Yeah. So the end yeah. of my trip was supposed to be Minnesota. And then I fly from Minnesota down to Texas for three days and then go to Vegas for four days and then fly home. But then like every, it's not the same. Like I was one out, I was just by myself and like I'm... Um, pretty good i can make friends i can have a good time by myself but i was having that much fun with the boys and then when they said sturgis i was like i'm in like whatever <laughs> like the rest is, of the trip's like, gone yeah i was like i'm in so i i swerved the last plan the last week of my holiday i was supposed to go to joe rogan's comedy club joe you're welcome on the couch as well <laughs> <laughs> just reach out if you're in australia yeah but um yeah just i swerved it to go to sturgis and i'm glad yeah. i did like it was that was literally wild. Yeah, storage like, is like a bucket list item, I bro, think, like, for like I every know, like hundred thousand or whatever. Yeah. Hundred thousand bikes rolling in and like there was a lot of things over there that didn't live up to like the the fantasies and expectations that I had in my head for stuff. But like I used to watch a show called Full Throttle Saloon. And then we went to the Full Throttle Saloon. And man, they cannot show half the stuff that goes on at the Full Throttle Saloon <laughs> on the T V show. So that definitely exceeded some expectations yeah so, that's sick yeah oh, i was just wild but even just all the old like memorabilia and mm-hmm. just all the stuff that they had on display like it was just yeah it was next level like and it's just the big thing is i've i've said all of this stuff probably a hundred times i've been back for two weeks i've probably said it a hundred times to like 95 different people a couple <laughs> of wankers have had to listen to me <laughs> listen to me multiple times tell it but um yeah just you can't, I can't convey what it's actually like. Yeah. Like, it's just, yeah, you need to go to know. Different yeah. part of the world. Like, yeah, it's it's so similar, but it's not. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's just, yeah, I, I loved it. And like, now, I was there probably, I don't know, four days and I was like, I'm coming back. Like, <laughs> I haven't even finished my time here yet. And I'm like, I'm coming back. So, the big thing for me was... And Hinchy got me onto this. I left my location services on. Mm-hmm. So while I was taking all my photos and everything, it was, you can go to your places on, on my photos albums and it shows on a map like where, where all the photos were. are. So yeah. you can see like exactly where I've been. So I did like the top quarter and then ended up going down to South Dakota, which was just like, I've, I've got those. But now I've been there. 
Yeah. So next time, well, I haven't been to the Freedom Factory. I haven't been like down south. I haven't been to Texas. Mm-hmm. So yeah, the next trip probably do that. And um, yeah. yeah, might might buy oh, myself yeah. a Pontiac GDO <laughs> and uh, just import a uh, a VT or a VX uh, steering rack. Yeah. And uh, a dash. Put that steering wheel on the back right on, side. Back of, on the right side. On yeah. The right side of the car and. Uh, and go. Yeah. So. But I couldn't believe it. We were looking at Marketplace and like, mate, you can get a, you can get a Monaro over there for probably half the price you're paying over here. Fuck. Like, well, it's not a Monaro. But yeah, but it's like the yeah, same, yeah. Uh, well, same shit. Honestly, yeah, honestly, they're not shell. Monaros anyway, mate. It's a VT coupe. Grow yeah. up. <laughs> Two-door VT. <laughs> yeah, VT coupe. Just grow up. Like, it's, it's all grow, it's grow coupe. Up. Coupe's what you keep the chickens in. Yeah, coupe. Coupe. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, coupe was when you had no air. <laughs> Craig could use a toupee. coupe. Wow, oh, a toupee. My bad. My bad. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, but yeah, like, yeah, it was wild. And yeah, I I personally will be back. Yeah. And I, having this chat with you boys and the rest of the boys, like, Brett's keen. Brett wants to come. Yeah. Just do, do a little gallivanting around. Mm. And I'm keen. It just kind of depends on how Summer Nats goes. Because yeah. I won't be able to go back until next year. Yeah, we'll we'll, until next year. So all what I'm planning mm. is to go do summer next year, like same same sort of time, same like time June, frame. June, July, August. Like mm-hmm. obviously not all of June, July, and August. But yeah, yeah, Probably yeah. do like pick four, a three week period or something. No, nah, probably like four, five, six weeks, and just go over there and do it right. Like I went crazy. I spent way too much money in a short period of time, but one experience that did really exceed expectations is changing a hundred dollar note into hundred one dollar notes and then throwing them now, if you know what i'm talking about no you, know, you know what i'm talking about so yeah yeah that definitely exceeded like my fantasy of how good that is because over here you throw dollars at girls the night time yeah. the night time antics yeah that's definitely jail <laughs> that's definitely jail we got the americans over there saying that <clears throat> about everything so we're talking and we're like mate we can't do this at home and they're like why jail and i'm like yeah it's jail straight to jail Fuck. Like, they just understood that like all the stuff they were doing over there just jail like yeah we're driving cuddles around wisconsin like a small town in wisconsin just up and down the road just why not like yeah over yeah. here not happening yeah just like yeah. not at all oh mate it was yeah do that and fucking maruka for five minutes and you'll be in jail oh, no, yeah. I, got, I got a call from the police for driving I live on a one-way street at the very end. So I literally drive four and a half metres up the wrong way, allegedly, and back into my own driveway. And I got a call from the police going, mate, you can't drive the wrong way up a one-way street. Like, if you do that again, there'll be an infringement notice putting you in your letterbox. And I was like, mate, just take me to jail now. Like, <laughs> jail. Nah, yeah, I, asked, I asked for evidence. Yeah. They were like, oh, it looks like you've got a dash cam in your car. I'm like, don't work. <laughs> like, it can't happen but mate over there like yeah wild like yeah one of the boys got picked up doing doing a little bit over about 19 miles an hour over which is about 30 kilometers and uh yeah got a 180 dollar fine oh don't mate pay that have a good day like wow which is nuts well yeah. you know who you are as well <laughs> you know who you are i'll leave a key outside when you get back as well <laughs> yeah but, um, oh, fuck that's so yeah. good that is, yeah. Dirges is definitely like a hundred percent on the bucket list. I think for like any anyone like yeah. needs to go. Well, that was a big thing. I was like, yeah. Texas and Vegas are there, three hundred and sixty-five yeah. days a year. Yeah. Sturgis so bike rally. If you don't know what we're talking about, just Google it, bro. You'll yeah. you'll see like a hundred thousand bikers just pull in and like yeah. not bikers like bikes. motorcycle enthusiasts. Yeah. yeah. Like pull in and it's just, I was like that runs for ten days every year and we just so happen to pull in there yeah, yeah. yeah. cost yeah, me two right. grand to change my flights yeah. to come home though like, <laughs> so that was a, that was the biggest stuff around so i woke up <clears throat> i booked me flight so i called up and i'm like i want to just my last leg was vegas to san francisco to brisbane yeah and i was like i called up the airline and i'm like can i just go to san francisco and then go from san francisco to brisbane and they were like no if you don't check in in vegas you can't check in in san francisco oh wow. you've got to buy your ticket out do this, rah, rah, all these fees. It was about a $1,000 um, US to buy my ticket out. And then I had to book more tickets. So it was going to be about two and a half grand. So I was like, I don't know. So I paid, I ended up just buying flights 
to Vegas. Then uh, 5 a.m. rolls around. And I'm like, place is dead. It's like a big country town. I'm about an hour away from like the city where the airport is. Mm-hmm. I'm, like trying to book a taxi, like an Uber, nothing. Absolutely dead. I ended up, one of the boys was there with his Julie. He's drunk in the back. I ended up waking Kieran up and going, hey, bro, I need you to drive me an hour down the road to the airport. Like, now. Ah. And he was like, fuck, righto. Gets in, drives me down there. He's like, right. I'm like, sweet ass, bro. Love ya. See you when you get home, man. Like, I'm so proud of you. Like, all the, all the dumb shit that yeah. we say. Like, and then, yeah, he fucks off. I walk in, I go to check in, and it's like, yeah, flights have been cancelled, you get to Vegas an hour after your flight leaves. Oh. And I was like, no. <laughs> so I walked up to the desk, the lady on the desk, because I like, I didn't want to leave, mm. but I had to leave. And I was like, I was already just like, I just, at this point, I was like, I just want to go home, I'll yeah. just reset, we'll go from there. So I was chatting to the lady on the desk, and I'm like, listen, this is my flights, and then this is my other flights, and final destination is home, Brisbane. And she's like, why are you going to Vegas? I was like, because I called you idiots and you said that I had to go to Vegas. And she's like, you don't have to go to Vegas. She's like, oh yeah, I'll, f- I'll move a couple of things around. So I've, <clears throat> I flew from Rapid City, South Dakota to Denver. Had like a two hour layover in Denver and then flew straight to San Francisco. So what she did was she checked me in in Vegas. Oh, and then yeah. just my Denver to Vegas flight, which was delayed, she cancelled that and then rerouted me over to San Francisco for a small fee and I was like fucking sweet I was like yeah. just get home so I left at 5 in the morning like 5 in the morning I was up at 4.30 left at 5 in the morning I was literally like, I was standing at that desk with the lady, just like, I just want to go home. Yeah. I was like, I was literally at that, like, mate, three weeks of just partying with the boys and seeing the world and just, mate, you've seen me at one skit event, bro. Yeah. Imagine three skit events, like, weekend after weekend yeah. after weekend, bro. I had no voice. Hey. I was just done, like... Yeah, it was absolutely hectic. I was literally like at that point where I was like, please just get me home. I was like, I'm oh. running out of money. <laughs> like, That's fucking, yeah, uh, that is fucking nuts. It was wild. It was absolutely wild. But like, yeah, like I said, it was just, yeah. Like it's, I can tell you all about it, but we need to go yeah, yeah. experience it together. Yeah. To really, 100%. really see how it goes. So. 100%. Yeah, I'm definitely keen for sure. Yeah. To get over there for sure. Oh, mate. Just, and yeah, hopefully maybe take the car. We'll see. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, mate. It's just... It's definitely in the, it's in the works for it's sure. It's on the bucket list. Yeah. yeah, it's on the bucket list for sure. But yeah, it's definitely in the works. I'll definitely be taking the car at some point. Uh, I don't know. Mm. Yeah. But I'm sure we'll catch up. We'll, oh, we'll definitely unravel more fucking America story especially when Kieran gets back he's jumping on the couch oh mate I, he'll un- I've, been, I've been talking um, for well over an hour now and I did not even like I was gonna say like, we didn't really have a spray. guess but we kind of do because we, oh. like, <laughs> we, we, had a, we had a chat outside before in the break and Greg's yeah. like oh you're not like letting out anything you should be letting out and I'm like mate I'm just I'm just telling like <laughs> Your what, story, I, yeah. what I remember at this point like <laughs> I'm like I can only tell you what I saw and like I can only tell you what I remember of what I yeah. saw so but yeah it's just yeah amazing and it's just definitely something that 
us as wing at motorsports yeah like you need to get over even it. if it's just the same thing even if we just jacko comes over and he's just an absolute legend we should just go go and watch jacko skid over there like yeah go yeah. And, like pull our money and go buy a car like yeah. well, i mean couples over there so yeah yeah <laughs> well, that's it bro well kieran let me double enter yeah cuddles and um at uh, Cruise. Cruise. yeah yeah and then torch the head <laughs> and put the prick in the trailer so um yeah that pissed me off that's one thing was like that was my one like at cletus i wasn't going to get up shirtless on the barriers like they had security and like they were a bit more professional about it but at power cruise like i literally i was like this waiting <laughs> i was waiting to rip this shirt off jump up on a concrete barrier and just start screaming out and nikki like gups misses would have tried to shoot me already like, yeah but it just yeah it was wild like i was so ready and then when he killed it i was like you're like, and the shirt goes back down. The yeah. shirt stays on. Yeah, and that was, that's one thing. It was like, Kieran was like, oh, it runs. Like, fired it up. And Gup's like, nah. Like, it turned itself off, bro. He's like, yeah. push it off the track. Yeah. Like, that yeah, was one thing. was like, Gup, Gup, I reckon, saved, like, the a lot more heartache yeah. Yeah. by doing that. So. Yeah, I'll, yeah, it would have been fucking way worse. But yeah, just, yeah, wild. Like, fucking wild. Like, it's such a good time. But, yeah. We'll definitely yeah. go over there for sure. Yeah, definitely, right. like... If okay. you made it this far, I'm going to do my due diligence, like, Mick Hinchy, like, on all platforms, bro, buy his merch, if you like what he does, support him, like, they're over there trying to do their thing, you can buy his, I hate doing this, but you can drive clickbait on Burnout Masters the game <laughs> if you want, Jacko's Lux, mate, same thing, like, get on there, Jacob, uh, if you're Cletus, you call him Jacob, which is weird, but righto, so... But Jacko's luck, support him. Cuddles burnouts, mate. Get out there and support him. And mm-hmm. most importantly, if you like what we're doing here, like, and you want to see this continue, please get on, buy some Idle Talk merch, mm-hmm. buy some Winging It merch, buy some Pinky merch from uh, Shirts Twenty Four Seven. Yeah. Like, Octane Apparel. Octane Apparel. Like that's. Fucking That's what that's what we do, and like yeah. any support helps us. But like being over there and being with those boys and what they're doing, like that's one thing that I. Like, I rocked up wearing one of Hinchy's hats, and I had two of his shirts in my bag. Yeah. Like, that was, like, that was from his first release for when he first said he was going to USA. Yeah. Like, that's fucking, yeah. Yeah. That's good. yeah so, but out. that's just, yeah, definitely get out support there and support. The people, support the people. Yeah. But most importantly, like, if you like what we're doing and you want to get yeah. aboard, like, how could they get on board and... Well, we were going to say, yeah, if you have... A guest, or you, you know, someone that wants to jump on the couch, I can jump on for sure. If you're in the burnout um, scene, you've been around for a while, yeah. and you just want to jump on and have a chat with some like minded people, yeah. get in contact with You can tell them your sports. story, or like we Facebook can talk page. shit, we can talk whatever you want to talk if about. If you know it. someone, fucking tag them in the comments. Yeah. Like, we're or looking, if there's someone you want to see on the couch, we're not looking for guests, them. but we're open to have more guests. Yeah, we want to don't, look, don't look too desperate, Ryan. They, <laughs> she, still, she still loves you. <laughs> we've, got, we've got a few people lined up, won't get into details. We've got yeah. a few people lined up, but we're just interested yeah. to hear. Won't get into detailing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wink, wink. Yeah. Yeah, he knows exactly who he is. He's like, yeah, I'm coming on. But um, yeah, no, if you want to jump on the couch, you want to tell your story, we can talk about what you want to talk about. Um, there is shit that goes on behind the scenes before we get to this stage. So like, we definitely write like a list of um, questions up and I'll send them to you. Make sure like they're the questions you're willing to answer. If there's anything you don't want to talk about, we take it out and we restructure the sort of the questions. We've got it written down on the on the whiteboard behind the scenes, so no one can see, but we sort of have like head points that we know what to talk about. Reference point. <laughs> reference points, yeah. Um, but yeah, if you want to be a guest, reach out um, to either one of us personally or the Winner Most Sports page or anything. Um, yeah, definitely. Going to start ramping up the old uh, Idle Thought production because pretty much yeah. between now and Summer Nuts, we're going to try and get some out every few weeks because we're doing three yeah. at Summer Nuts. The last so. one was like, yeah, it's been six weeks so yeah the last one's been a bit of a stretch after having the, the big boys on from north yeah, queensland get but, a bit more consistency um, yeah definitely yeah, yeah. More keep going. now we're double figure so now we need to keep on going for sure yeah. that's it well, um, i got nothing but time on my hands after blowing up my cash in america <laughs> so i'm down boys you're on your short trip down the road to get here yeah and um yeah on top of that as well i can apparel i've obviously been our sponsor from the very start of this thing like before we even clicked off like i sent him what we want to do Ryan jumped on like before we even did our first episode. So Ryan's been our sponsor from the start and moving forward will continue being our sponsor. 
um, which we are very grateful for and love your support. If you do want to, if you're a business or whatever, and you want to um, have advertising on the on the podcast, um, on our channel, all that sort of stuff, or you want to um, sponsor an episode, or jump on to sponsor the podcast as well, you can. So definitely reach out to myself or, yeah. or anyone open to, of us. Open to anything as well. Like, yeah, we can definitely like, chat and much work like, out. Much quick, like what we did with Kev, it's, it's not always a money thing. It was just yeah. like a networking thing with Kev. Like, like Chocolate yeah. Meltdown stuff here. Yeah. Um, what, tw- 20th anniversary? Yeah. 10th anniversary? Yeah, 10th anniversary. Yeah, yeah. we've got Tropical Meltdown, like, yeah, stuff up here. Um, yeah, we worked out something with Kev, so yeah, we spoke about his event. He jumped on board and helped us oh, out as well yeah. in the background. And ha- jumped on and had a chat with um, us as well. So yeah, yeah jumped, and then jumped on as well, yeah. So you don't have to be just a sponsor. Um, no, that's not it. You it's can more, jump on more as about well. networking. Just trying yeah. to, everyone's just trying to elevate each other. Yeah, 100%. No, we, we definitely accept cash too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to be We have three there. broken engines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. None of us have motors right <laughs> <laughs> but yeah no so yeah if you if you're a guest if you want to be a guest obviously you can jump on if you want to sponsor fuck okay, yeah um, reach out we get in contact with, with the Wiener Motorsport well Facebook sponsor. page yeah be the easiest way to get in contact with yep. us yeah yep. Um, yeah we appreciate all of it any of the help yeah and even just the views like people watching definitely stuck around this far um, yeah it definitely helps so just yeah. like we want to keep on going we don't want to stop we do love doing like yeah we, do love we don't plan on stopping good. Yeah. Yeah. Anytime soon. Like this yeah. one is just yeah, we're sitting there talking shit, talking about American stuff and about yeah. our cars, but yeah. We we got five um, we got five dot points on the board and we've been talking for <laughs> like two, yeah. two hours. Yeah. 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 Well, but, yeah. yeah, there's a lot to talk. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, if you do yeah, if you want to jump on, reach out, we'll definitely find space for you. If you're in Brisbane, which is where we are, um yeah, we'll find space for you and we can work around any day. There's no particular day that we film anything, we sort of work around with whether it's coming on or you're going too far into the desperate video. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's wrap this one up. But yeah, reach yeah. out guys, like any sort of equipment, anything, like yeah. Even if you just like we said, like you just want to have a chat, you know someone that you want to chat to, like yeah. Could be you could be friends with a bloke down the road, mate. We'll just have a chat if he's yeah. if he's got something interesting and we can we can be like minded people having a chat about things. Mm. Well, yeah, until the next one. This is happy number ten, so we double figured, and yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Cheers. See you. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Penis. <laughs>